Uh, hello. Hello, I'm, I'm Hal Thompson. Happy Halloween. I'm, I hope you're dressed in costumes tonight for some very enjoyable times. We're ready to have a really great time here on Hal Thompson Live. I'm an expert. My name's Hal Thompson. I, I'm, I'm a red, I'm a red puckered starfish, as you can plainly see. And this is what? What are you dressed as? Uh, the Bison King. The, the Bison King. Of the Thrones. Is, is he? I've never heard of him. Buffalo. They are from Buffalo Wild Kings. Okay. That's pretty good. What are you dressed as tonight? You tell us in the comments of this video. We look forward to interacting with you this evening and maybe having a drink, a potion or two. I've got goat's mucus. Delicious goat mucus prepared by Courtney. I'm going to be drinking that this evening. We have other options, including things that don't taste so good. You just let us know what you want to do. We have some prizes we'll give away too. I'll get to those in a little bit. What's in that goat mucus? It's goat mucus. Goat mucus is naturally uh, alcoholic. If, if you let it sit in a, a vat for a few days. I'll, I'd try it. A few months. You want to try it later? Yeah. That's something we can might maybe get into. If folks want us to. I got a. I'm having a little bit of a hard time with this red starfish costume, but it's worth it. Halloween is worth it to wear costumes that no matter what the cost, because then you sometimes you can get candy. I've had some trick or treaters over to my house. They I gave them some some uh, some crab apples and some parsley flakes. And I also gave them uh, some ham, of course, ham pellets. And uh, I think, uh, wait, uh, okay, wait, no, hold on. Uh, okay, I'm okay. I also, I also gave them some radishes. It was a healthy Halloween at, at Hal's house. It was a healthy Halloween. And all the kids went away, and they won't gain any weight this Halloween. I was trying to cut down on fatties in my area. Where were you when I was a child? Were you a, a fatty child? Mm. I, well, yeah, I was chubby. Chubberino? Did the kids call you Chubberino? They did sometimes. King Chubberino? Chubsky? Chubberuski? Brandon was a little Renly esque in that costume. Renly? He looks yeah. Renly esque? Yeah. I hope that no dark black demon things come and kill our, our Renly esque fellow that's here tonight for this special Halloween broadcast. Oh, God. What? I'm having a hard time seeing. Is there any comments that I should look at? Some folks think you should wear it as a hat so you'll be more comfortable. Oh, you think so? Yeah. I can't, I kind of, it's hard to, it's kind of strapped onto my face. I can't. I lost my glasses. I couldn't see. Is that better? Yeah. But it's hard to tell that it's a star. I, I can't really move. Like a cavalier. I can't move my head now. I can't. I feel like I can't see anyway. Is that good? This is better, right? That's better. Okay, I'll just balance this here for the next three hours. Anyway, it's great that you could join us tonight. I see there are a number of you watching this show. I'd like to say hello. That's what Pipe says. That's what Brandon is dressed as. King Chubberino. <coughs> and then... Uh, Brandon's got his guitar tonight, so we might sing some songs. And uh, if you want anything special, you just let me know. It, you can go down to the comments. Now, I mean, not the comments, the description on the video. There's like some 
information. Thanks. And then uh, Courtney's on the keys. She'll be chatting with you this evening. Maybe you'd like to raise a glass. You can oh. buy us a pound of Malort. <sighs> That's refreshing. Hello. Hello. Oh, there we go. That looks pretty good. Now it looks like a star. Now it looks like Patrick. Yeah, I just put it right there. That's the thing to do. Oh, my hair is a mess. Halloween costumes really do a number on your appearance. I look like a disaster now. Can you believe it? I didn't know. I think you look fine. King Buffalo thinks I look fine. I got to, if you got any questions, you need any help, you just let me know. Maxime says, are you going to play quarters or devil's triangle the Bet Brett Kavanaugh game with that starfish of yours? Hmm? I don't, I don't think you could play quarters with, with that. I have a lot of questions about that. How are those Brett Kavanaugh games? Brett Kavanaugh games? I think they're coming out from Parker Brothers. Oh, I'm going to vomit. Parker Brothers is releasing a series of new games based on our new Supreme Court justice. Oh. Somebody made a, a payment on your phone. <laughs> <laughs> Pip A asks how Brandon is. Comptonius Rex says drink some fish oil. I don't really have any fish oil currently. I usually stock that, but I don't have any right now. I do what I do have though is some chocolate from Hank Green, the illustrious oh, yeah. Hank Green, who we had an interview with for the hot seat. He he his parting gift was a. Thanks for holding that. He gave us some chocolate. He gave us an orange. Is that all that's left? He gave us buckets. Some of it might have got et by the goats. Um. Or maybe the ogre. This is Jack, Jack Tor chocolate, orange chocolate from Hank Green, from the interview with Hank Green. Did he make that? He didn't, he didn't make it. He just gave it to me. He doesn't make his own chocolate? This looks pretty good. It's in sticks, chocolate sticks. Thanks, Hank Green, for the delicious candy. Oh, it tastes like orange. Why is there an apple on the front? I don't. Don't doesn't make any sense. Most of what Hank said didn't make any sense either. Or maybe it was me that didn't make sense. I forget. We also got some premium dark chocolate, 60%. Oh, that's cacao. That's cacao levels. I bet this is pretty good. You want to try it? Sure. It's Halloween after all. We got to have some candy. That's pretty good. I got some more candy for later, maybe when Dylan gets here. My friend Dylan will stock by as usual and then interrupt the flow of the show and wreck everything <laughs> and he'll have some sort of cheap beer that he drinks that's good chocolate yeah thank you hank sam dean says how do i keep a toxic avenger out of my yard he's nice and i don't want to be rude he helps open pickle jars but he can't live in my yard anymore what do i do it's pretty simple with the toxic avenger you just have to put him in a barrel and mark Toxic Avenger on it and take it to the dump and dispose of it properly according to the rules of the dump. Most dumps have different laws depending on which one you go to. I can usually find one that'll take any extra Toxic Avengers that I've got. I suggest going to M M Mel's Garbage Emporium. Not only takes your garbage but resells it or disposes of it depending on what's needed we got some super chats a miniature flesh couch says how much for a bloody eye for dylan is that a beverage i don't, i've never heard of it was that that tomato and that might be tomato and eye of newt do it does he the do, tomato the the bloody mary mix and eye of newt mixed together are we supposed to give him one a, a shot of it, yeah. I suppose we could mix up some of those terrifying Bloody, Mar Bloody Mary Eye of Newt combos 
it is Halloween after all, and we're supposed to be scared. We'll look into that miniature flesh couch. Brad Liston says that chocolate seems untrustworthy with an apple and tasting like orange. I know. I was very confused by it. Seems like false advertising to me, Jacques Tor chocolate maker. Maybe you should maybe you should get your yourself together. If you're a, that big big time of a chocolate maker, you could probably you should know what an orange and an apple look like. Maybe he was being a hipster. A chocolate hipster. Don't dip your strawberries in it. Don't dip your strawberries in it. S6 Underground says, E, how do I reverse goblin diabetes? Well, you have to put the goblin on a, the very strict diet. It can, o it can only eat uh, shoes and mouse mother nipples. <laughs> those are the only things. You can prepare those nipples however you want, but they've got to be straight from a, from a, a recently... A recently given birth mouse mother. Is there a difference between a mother that happens to be a mouse and a mouse mother? It's got to be a mouse mother who's just given birth to a litter of of mices. And then if you want to be humane, you should take care of those little mice babies if you're harvesting those nipples. I know it seems a little harsh, but that's the only way because goblins are just that type of creature. You would expect something a little harsh and cruel for a goblin who is a harsh and cruel little individual. Most goblins are, anyway. Most goblins I've had encountered or created in my life, they're not very good people. You know, a couple of good goblins. Is there any goblins here right now? I thought maybe we could talk to one, but <laughs> I guess it left. We might have, have a... To call. We might have a strange visit from Baby Cookie tonight as well, so stay tuned for that. I got a super chat from Big E. He says, Hal, what things scare you the most? Um, the thing I'm most scared of is loss of feeling in my left buttock. And then I feel if, if I sit, I won't be able to tell if that part of my body is sitting or not. And I may end up sitting like this and not realize that it's not plunked all the way down on the seat. That's kind of what I'm doing right now. You have a numb cheek? And now I'm thinking about it. Also, I'm afraid of slop and abandoned children. Me too. What are you afraid of, King Buffalo Hot Wings? Uh, fake werewolves. What are fake? You mean were people that act like werewolves but aren't? Mm -hmm. Why are you afraid of them? Because they get violent because they get really possessed by their... by pretending to be one. And then they, they start biting people and stuff. Some of them. Not all of them. The ones I met have. Well, aren't, wouldn't you just be afraid of actual werewolves then, because they're more dangerous? I guess so. But I always find out that they're not real werewolves. That sounds like... That sounds like a pretty good fear. Good work with that one. William Clay Schluchter says, Sing me a song of Godzilla, please. Could you strike up a tune on the old banjo? We'll Godzilla. sing... William Clay Schluchter, A Song of Godzilla. But not the actual song, Godzilla. Uh, is there an actual song called Godzilla? <laughs> I wasn't aware of it. I don't think there is. Maybe you'll make this up. I'm ready. <laughs> Clay Schlichter, he was running around. He went downtown to do some 
holiday shopping with his mom. I went into Macy's, I got some tools, I bought some equipment, they behaved like fools. They walked outside, and what did they see? A giant lizard beast staring right at them and me. It was Godzilla. Godzilla in the flesh. Godzilla. Godzilla wearing mesh. Godzilla was dressed up for Halloween. He was invading the town and he wasn't looking, I mean he was looking mean actually, and he tore everything down. With his mesh stockings he looked very sexy. It was sexy Godzilla tearing up the town. Cory Schlichter Williams didn't know what to go now. He had to run, he ran into the streets. He screamed and he screamed and he stepped on his feet. He dipped into a lake swam out and tried to get away. Unfortunately for him, he ran into underwater Godzilla, who ate him right up and killed him down. Ate him right up and killed him down. Get underwater Godzilla. There's also an underwater Godzilla that not many people are aware of. Just so you know. Aqua. Aqua Godzilla. Aquazilla. That's why you need an expert to tell you about these things. You can't escape Godzilla by swimming. The best way to escape Godzilla, in case you were wondering this in your head while whilst observing this live stream, is to actually just go home and watch TV. <laughs> and hope that he passes by without noticing you. Doesn't apply to people who are already at home. Loch Ness monster was a was a type of underwater Godzilla, perhaps a relative, a cousin, so to speak. Eric Ross says greetings and hellutation, hellurations, hellutations. I think it's hellutations. Could you gents sing a happy song about a mischievous pirate with a taste for danger? Says Eric Ross. Do you want to take this one? <laughs> sure. A mischievous pirate with a taste for danger. Hmm. Thanks, Eric. A happy Ross. song. That's right. A happy song. <laughs> mischievous pirate taste for danger. Oh, my costume. I go out to sea and I have a great time Have fun with family and always on the rhyme Going out to sea Is where I'll be Going to get the treasure chest and going to get my friends Going to get the gold and all the riches never ends I will wave you by if you meet me, I will cry, cause I'm happy alone. I w started out on a rowboat when I was young. Then it got out of control and I never went to the sun. And I am the captain of my ship. I don't give a damn. Chorus. I don't have a chorus for this song. Chorus. I don't have a chorus for this song. Here's the break. You can try to catch me, but you won't. I'm a pirate and I'm happy and I'm on a fucking boat. I will get the riches, everything I ever dreamed. 
I'm happy by myself, and if you're with me, then I'll scream. I... Pirate. That was, that was uh, mischievous. Was he mischievous? Did he ever get up to anything? He tried to. That was a pretty good chorus. I like that part. <laughs> that was enjoyable. <laughs> why do the... Cannon Ranger asks, why do the stars fall from the sky? I think it's because it's when you're around, Cannon Ranger. And they can't fall from the ground. They can't, they have to fall from the sky. But it's mainly, I think, I don't think they really fall from the, the sky most of the time. I think you're re directly responsible, I don't know if you knew that. Legends tell of a man named Cannon Ranger. And stars aren't really in the sky, that was just something made up by Christians. Yeah, by, by the, by, by ignorant, ignoramuses. <laughs> Religious enthusiasts, but who were ignoramuses, unfortunately. They didn't know better. They couldn't help it. <laughs> Happy Halloween, though, to all you ignoramuses that think the stars are in the sky. We got another question here from what, uh, jo Julius Milewski, what's your favorite character to play in Talisman, Hal? I think my favorite one's probably... Oh, there's so many to choose from. Do you have a favorite? I think the the troll. Bill. He's really strong. He can sometimes win right away. Did you want to answer a question, Brandon? Jen, Jen's Wisbaka says, will the stars ever be right and will death then die? Mm. Probably not. I wouldn't bet any money on it. Is that Shakespeare? Is that a Shakespeare quote? What, what, what was? <laughs> I wouldn't bet any money on it. Yes, that's Shakespeare. Nintendo Lunchbox says, Ehal, what is your favorite cape-related costume? Mm, I've heard tell of this person named Cape Date. I think that's a pretty good costume. Pretty good idea for something to wear on a date as well. I haven't tried it myself, but I can imagine having success with it. Most of the time I have to lure women into a, a, a box if I want to hang out with them. Comptonius Rex says, Hal, why does my foot feel like salami? Should I use ham on it? Um, I wouldn't use ham on that. The healing powers of ham are more for inside than out, especially in the matters of healing relationships and building trust between f people. If you have problems with your foot, you might just want to soak it. Soak it in a hot bath. <laughs> Soak it in a nice hot bath for three days. What is Brandon drinking? Brandon's drinking honey blonde ale. Mm -hmm. Like a true king of the buffaloes. Is that accurate? Yeah, I thought the I bison. was going to sneeze, but now it's gone. He's the bison king, actually. We got a super chat from Sam Dean. He says, tell me my Australian doom. I've got a special Sweet. hat. Tonight, I'm doubling up on costumes if you think about it, except that I'm actually a licensed fortune teller. And this is my fortune teller hat, which I use to actually predict things about people. I can predict pretty much anything you like. If you want me to tell you when you're going to die, I can do that, but it's, up, it's not my responsibility to deal with the consequences and fallout to your psyche when, once you find out how you will pass away. You're going to have to deal with those issues on your own. I can't be there for that. But I can give you the information. It's up to you what you do with it. 
We here at Blame Society Films don't take responsibility for any accidents or inaccurate information that befall folks who get their fortune told. Okay, now that I've covered myself legally, I'm going to tell you your fortune, Sam. Your Australian doom. Sam, I see you on an open plain, surrounded by small, furry mammals. The mammals are circling you like a circle of wagons. You're in the center. The animals are dancing and chanting crazily. I see a toaster. A toaster falls from the sky and it lands next to you. And you look in the toaster and a poisonous snake comes out of the toaster and kills all the animals. You're traumatized by this. You don't know why a snake came out of a toaster. But it doesn't matter because the ground shakes open and swallows you whole. In a giant chasm of doom. That's just what happens. I can't... I can't really do anything about it, Sam. You might just not want to go... out into an open plane ever. It might be, but you might just end up there because... Sometimes things happen and you can't control it. It's not it's not your fault. It's not your fault. Someday you will end up in that plane and those events will happen. A catastrophe certainly. You're welcome. Pat Garot says, "How the fuck does super chat work?" <laughs> You have to press on the little money box, the little money case that's next to where you type in comments and enter your payment information. I don't know if you can do that on mobile. Maybe you can't do it on your phone. I'm not sure. <laughs> but I think that's how it works. Thanks for asking. I've got, I wanted to let you know that everyone who's donated tonight has actually entered in the contest to win a prize. Of their, ch of their choosing. There are a number of different items to choose from this evening. It, every $20, is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thanks, Brandon. Every $20 gets you one entry into the contest to win an item of your choosing. I'll start with the biggest item tonight. It's a giant tabletop shuffle board that you can play on in the holidays with your your friends and neighbors and all your family. That's awesome. You play the little shuffleboard, and then uh, you try to try to have some fun with the family, despite the fact that you can't get along with any of them. That's pretty. That's a pretty fun game. That'll probably bring some joy to your holidays if you win that. That's the top prize, but you don't have to choose it if you're not into tabletop shuffleboard. I also have this amazing and hilarious T-shirt. Hamstagram. My mom picked that out. Courtney's mom picked this one out as a prize for you. You should feel honored. <laughs> is that is that customized just for you? No, that was a, that was created randomly. I don't believe it. I also have a uh, where did the oh here's the <laughs> oh no <laughs> look it's a shot glass with a skull. How appropriate for this Halloween celebration. You could win this lovely item uh, if you donate tonight. There's going to be two prizes given away, first and a second prize. And then first person, first place gets to choose one out of the four different items that are available. One of the other items that's available is this four pack of flavored soda pops. You got Burro Churros flavored soda pop. You got Worm Ooze. You got your alien snot, Ooh. and you've got Lenin Leninade. <laughs> Some gag gifts. Maybe you can give those to somebody you know as a real 
funny joke. We have a super chat from Adam. We got a super chat from Adam Bull. He says... Uh, <laughs> 8 equals greater than Caliende or whatever that symbol is. And then I think that's quite lewd, actually. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be j jizzing on titties. Or peeing. Thanks for that super chat. That was very helpful. So Julius has a fun question. Julius has a fun question. Where did you get the idea to call your channel Blame Society? I didn't call it that. That was the one of those creators. I think his name's Aaron or something. He came up with it a long time ago when he was making videos for public access television with his friend Benson. And they made some really terrible and funny things. Tragic. Some really great stuff. They also made some great stuff, I guess. I don't know. I haven't seen any of it. I've just heard that it's te terrifying. Splurtoff. Splurtoff or whatever that is. Courtney says it's good, but I don't know. I mean, I guess I trust her. She's got ham. So I'll, I'll do it. Speaking of ham, I got some stuff in the mail from the Lowers, Andrea and... Uh, and what's the Joseph? Joseph and Andrea Lauer sent some ham. Look at this Aww. maple brown sugar ham jerky. Did they send that box of all kinds of cool things? They sent a box of all kinds of cool things, yeah. And we got some folks say that some stuff was stolen out of it. But that was on a, a different. That was a different life. Also, they sent some Iberico grain fred ham. Oh. Grain fried ham. That looks very tightly packed. It's Look at, it looks very Look at those guys. Nice. Those are tightly packed. What Pigs. kind of ant are those? Pigos. Wow. Did you want to try one of these? I don't know if I'm even allowed to do that. That's Do you want to try the maple brown sugar ham crisps? From the Bass Pro Shops? Maybe I'll try those. I think they're used as bait. That was the ham that they sent. Thanks, guys, for sending some ham. You can maybe try those later. Oh, bite the ham that feeds. We'll give one to Dylan. I know he's into eating pigs. I kind of have to urinate. Is this a good time for that? Yeah, this is the best time of the night for that. You chose a good moment. Do you have a super chat for me, Pat? Go I'll read that super chat while you... Drink a shot, the expert way to... Oh, okay. oh, I just... That was the worst oh, time Oh, you for have me to... to... Yeah, this was the... Now it was the worst time. <laughs> It was a good time like seconds ago, but then and then that that's passed. You can, like, you can go. You can't go. Well, that's the thing. Someone's gonna pay a bunch of money every time I have to pee. You For me to not pee. Quit go. Do you? Would you like to try some of this? Some of the goat mucus? Yeah. I'll pour you out one. Courtney mixed this up. She's very skilled with mixing up goat mucus. But then somebody has to buy another one because I'm about to pee it out. You can feel free. Feel free to pee. You and me. Cheers and thank you. Who gave it? Pat Garo. Pat Garo. Oh, that's very good. Thank you. I love your work. That's very delicious. <laughs> mm, much appreciated. Oh, now I don't have to pee anymore. Are you sure? Because this is now the, this is the second best moment of the night. All right, I'm gonna go. Go do that before anything else comes in. That was the king, the bison king. He's going, but Lord of the Bison. He's going to head out for some bathroom breaks. Oh, it just became the second worst moment of the night for him to leave to go to the bathroom because we just got a song request, and I need his guitar playing skills. But I guess we'll do it when he gets back. In the meantime, I can talk to you folks. I hope that you had a good Halloween and that you got all the treats that you wanted. Or maybe you went out on Saturday instead. Went down to State Street. I heard there's a lot going on down there. Uh, eh. 
I don't see any more questions, so I'll regale you with a wonderful tale of an encounter that I recently had. I was at home in one of my rooms, and I discovered that the leg of my one of my chairs was unlevel, and I wasn't sure what I would do to get it back, because when you sit on it, it rocked back and forth like this. It was very off-kilter, and when you're trying to eat, every so often you just rock back and forth, and it's harder... It definitely made it more challenging to get food up in there. So I took the chair and I smashed it all over the ground and the table and broke it. Threw it out on a bits out, threw the bits out on the curb and then now I just stand. What's your favorite Halloween candy, Hal? I really like Well, there's a lot of candy I really like. It's pretty hard to choose. I'm, um, I really like the, I really like marzipan. That's my favorite Halloween treat. Sometimes folks get creative and they make marzipan into little shapes or funny little things like animals and stuff and then you can eat them. What's fun is when you've got a, a funny little ant, like I actually have some, some gummy animals that Megan Jameson sent. Megan Jameson hates me, but she sends me candy sometimes. <laughs> like, for example, here's a... I think this is a ghost. No, that's a pumpkin. What's this? A broom. That's a broomstick. Do you want this broomstick? Sure. Show it to the cameras. Oh, oh here's a black cat. Look at this. And then you pretend like you're eating a little animal. <laughs> oh, I ate a, a kitty cat. <laughs> Are they sour? Mine, well, yeah, it was a little bit. Yeah, they're a little bit sour. Sour patch black cat. Oh, I, I, I don't have a bottle opener. Oops. I don't have one either. <laughs> Look for the five wood on the counter in there. The five wood. It's got a bottle opener on it. I found oh, a golf... Wow. Golf club that has a bottle opener on it. Oh yeah. Would you like a little treat? She got a big string of green ones. I brought this over here. What is that? It's a five wood. Oh, it's a bunch of brooms stuck together. I thought it was a snake. Oops. Yeah, this is a... F <laughs> Where'd you get that? I found it at the... Specialty Boutique. Nathan has a question. Nathan? Yes. Nathan, Heimer. Nathan Heimer says, is there a list of the things they do if you donate a certain amount? There's a list in the description of this video. As well as payment information. Right down there, you just go down and you click more info, and then there's a big list that pops up. And thank you for considering it. Carrie Mathias says, Brandon, sing a song about your favorite animal. Mm. Do you want to reveal the animal or reveal it in song? Probably reveal it in song. Perhaps you'll play the guitar? Yeah. Or at least just have it there? I'll, I'll reveal it in the song. Thank you, Carrie. Oh, shoot. Now I have to think about what my favorite animal is. Well, I know what my favorite animal is. I just have to think about it. up in my room I would read a lot about animals and my doom I used to think what would life be without animals and it made me sad 
so then I thought of what I would want to have in my room. I went to the pet store and then I looked around. I looked at dogs and cats and I looked at goldfish brown. I said, that's the one for me, that goldfish that is looking brown. Then the goldfish came out of the tank. It looked at me and then my heart sank. It said, let's go to Africa and ride a giraffe, Beelzebub. <laughs> Beelzebub. Beelzebub. So, my favorite animal was a goldfish. But it wasn't your average goldfish, it was a mythical fish. Its skin was brown when the other's was gold. It was my best friend, and then my mother scolded me. <laughs> 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 What was your favorite animal? Was it a brown goldfish? Brown goldfish. Oh, okay. That was, that was a pretty good song. Thanks for that, and then Carrie, thank you too. I make up some of the best songs on this show. Yeah, you're pretty good at that. I wish I had that skill. Come up with all the talents and the notes. How do you make notes? Um, well, you just play a chord. And then it just happens. It's muscle memory. That's pretty good. Conditioning, and it it's happens like driving faster. a car. Yeah, it happens faster if you're being verbally abused. It does. If you don't do it right, yeah. If someone says you're terrible, st do it right. Mm -hmm. You jerk. You music playing fool, including yourself. What, what's the worst insult you've been called whilst playing the guitar? Mm. Uh, that's a tough one. You said that very centrally, like you remember a particular moment. Um, Perhaps turned you on. Uh, someone called me a fag once. That was pretty bad. Oh wait, did you say a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know why they, they called me that, but... I was just trying to make it as awkward as possible <laughs> by just letting that linger. <laughs> did, it, did it work? I was gonna say they called me the F word, but then that wouldn't be, they wouldn't make you know people wouldn't. Oh know. yeah, friend. Yeah. You friend, you're terrible at the guitar. That was a good anecdote from Brandon, <laughs> but we've got to move on. I'm afraid. Ron Harvey says, an ode to my dad's recently removed lung, please. Oh my, that's quite a thing to have a lung removed. He said that he's doing good, but Ron is still had a stress over But they didn't put it back in? They did not. An entire lung? Why would you get it removed? I thought maybe they removed it and cleaned it and put it back in. Isn't that what they do? I don't even know that that could happen. Wow. Well, let's have an ode to that removed lung. It's not going back in. I guess I can take this one. In the style of... Mm, jungle music? Welcome to the doctor. We got fun and games. We're gonna remove your lung and it's not gonna be free. It's the doctor. Welcome to the doctors. We're gonna bring you to your na 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 knees knees. I wanna see that lung out now, please. Got the lung out. Took it out yesterday. They put it on a cart and they towed it away. They put my shoes on, sent me out the door. They said, don't come back no more. We don't need any more body parts right now. That was the last I saw of my lung. It got sent out, it was not young. I got eaten alive by a tiger later that afternoon. That's 
it's uh, and then there's, this is the instrumental breakdown. All I needed is a little patience. Thanks, Ron Harvey. I hope that, <laughs> I hope that was something for you. It was certainly something for us. He says, God bless Hal. Thanks, Ron. <laughs> Trake says he only votes in the Goblin primaries. After that, he doesn't care. I don't know if you're who you're talking about exactly. Could be me, but that's true. I do just, I vote in the Goblin primaries. Thank you, Courtney. <laughs> I usually vote for whichever Goblin is promising the most mayhem. I enjoy a bit of mayhem. The bet, the that. The right kind of mayhem. The the log party. My favorite candidates are usually in the log party for the goblins. I don't like I don't particularly care for the the igneous rock party. They're they're very subhuman in their beliefs. Subterraneans. Don't vote for them. Either vote for those for that what the the first party I said or maybe a Maybe the horse manure party, but they're not that popular. Mm. They don't offer up candidates that often. But that doesn't mean that they can't win. But they're nice goblins if you ever meet them. Just because they worship horse manure doesn't mean that they're bad people. They won't call you the F word. They won't. They might call you the H word. Hob? Hobgoblin? Yeah. They don't get along with those hobgoblins. But you already knew that. Speaking of trakes, he says, Shots for everyone. Ha and have Hal predict which Halloween candy will end up killing me. Well, it was very prescient of you to know that a Halloween candy would be killing you, Matt. We're going to have some more, some more shots. <laughs> Wait, that's yours. Okay, I'll pour yours up. Happy holidays, everyone. Here's to Trakes. And then I'll put on my fortune-telling hat and figure out which candy you got to watch out for. That's wonderful. That really is wonderful. Yum! I very much like that. Here we go. Let's see what happens. I see a bag of candy. A bag of candy given to you by a dog. An angry dog. A raging angry dog that bit you and then gave you a bag of candy. It's candy Corn. Candy corn. Candy corn made of black plague. Bamba lamb. We got a super chat from Jessica Stewart. She says, What is your guys' D and D class? I'm I'm a I'm a paladin. I'm a white knight. I challenge bad behavior on the internet wherever I see it. That's my class. I'm a level 42 warlock troll. That's a dual class. Which Wait. kind of weapons do you wield? Is that a dungeon? That's World of Warcraft. Oh yeah, no. We're talking about D&D &D class. I basically just have a shaft and a knife, a dull knife. Wait, that's your class? And a stone. You're a shaft? You're a, you're a dual class shaft knife? I'm a shaft craftsman. You craft shaft? <laughs> what level are you? Like 12. 
Do you know any any spells? Uh, hand maneuver. Ham maneuver. Got a hand maneuver. Uh, crush. And fake fake pass. I'm a, as I said before, I'm a paladin, and my weapons are. Uh, I have a, a broadsword, plus one broadsword of white magic, and I have a shield. It's an ivory shield made of bone. Thug. No. Hmm. No, no harmony either. And then um, I have a helmet that was made by the shaft craft. <laughs> he made it just for me. I did him a favor one time. He was being harassed while he was playing music. Someone called him the F word. <laughs> and I took care of it. That's what, That's our role playing. Thanks for that question. You've been entered into the contest. Don't forget you can win tonight. There's four different objects. Two of them will be given away once to a first place and once to a second place, including this tabletop shuffleboard. Excuse me. Oh my, there's a bunch of things coming our way. We better focus on this. Big E says, is Australian $85? What, how much does that equal in our na Big native e currency? See right there. <laughs> he said it. <laughs> Maybe I should learn to read things I before I e. speak. Big e, Big e. I don't know if you're a, a big he or a big she, Big E. <laughs> Courtney made a good point. This is the Australian dollar equivalent to 60 U.S. D ducats, ducats. A potion for the three of you. Love your work. Courtney, what have you got over there for drinks? Do you need any of the I do need something. goat's milks? Yeah. The goat's uh, goat milk? Mm -hmm. I think we might run out of the goat semen. Oh, you, I didn't need that much. You, will, you should drink all of it. Okay. Or you'll get it. <laughs> when folks are nice enough to buy a shot, you gotta drink it all down. <laughs> so says this expert. Cheers. Biggie, biggie, biggie. And thank you, thank biggie. You, biggie. That is wonderfully good. What what says for my favorite Halloweeny and I hope baby cookie doesn't shank anyone while trick or treating. Thanks what what. Um as far as I know baby cookie hasn't shanked anyone but we could ask her in person if you want. It might take me a little messing around. Can you play something nice? <laughs> That's not very nice. Oh wow, look, it's baby Cookie. <laughs> look at there she is. Cookie, what are you? Oh, Cookie. I gotta take my, move my glasses here. Cookie, what? Cookie, uh, someone wanted to know, Cookie, if you had shanked anyone on Halloween. What, what, um, what did you do for Halloween? Yeah, I drank up all the booze in the house. Oh, you did? That sounds like a lot of fun, so that's pretty normal Halloween for you, I bet, isn't it? Uh... I got so drunk, I passed out in the gutter. Oh, wow, that's too bad. I'm sorry to hear that, Cookie. I wonder... Did you get any Halloween candy? I came to your house to get some candy, because it's Halloween times. Oh, do you want some hell? You want some... Oh, God, Cookie, are you okay? Oh, no. Oh, uh, what happened? <laughs> Whoa. Here you go, Cookie. Here's some Halloween candy. 
I'll put it, what are you, you dressed as a, some sort of Viking it looks like? That's pretty fun. Have you seen that series on Netflix about Vikings? It's really good. It's that drink! That drink! I drank the scissor! Oh, you did? Okay, well, that's good. Well, if you want to take that candy home with you, it was nice to see you. I'm gonna get my rat! Oh, no. All right, well, uh, watch out for rat. Yeah, now we're talking. What? Cookie, what's happening? <laughs> Cookies, I hear you from across the room. How's that possible? Well, anyway. Yeah, I drank up all the booze in the house. Oh my god, Cookie. Why am I? Well, that's really weird. Cookie, what are you going to do later tonight? Okay, I got to go. I got to go watch my stories. Oh, you're going to go watch your stories? Okay. See you later, Cookie. I see you later. <laughs> okay. Well, that was a nice visit from baby Cookie. She doesn't usually come on these. How nice to see her. I don't know. That was neat. That was pretty different. I wonder if there's... I don't know. Did you ever hear that baby Cookie has an app that's available? I think I did. Yeah, that's, that's an, she didn't mention that for some reason, but she, that is a thing. Probably available on iTunes or something. I don't really know. Correct. That's completely correct, Courtney says. Said. <laughs> Movie review guy says, hey Hal, where Cody Beaumont? I think Cody's at home uh, taking a sponge bath. So usually what time is it? Yeah, usually around 8 o'clock is sponge bath time. When I lived with him, he would sometimes request that I give him a sponge bath. I didn't do that. Actually, usually what he said was, he said, Hey, hey, Hal, can you give me a salad, manila pan, sing, and a rabid pornograph? <laughs> and it would be different every night, but what he was trying to say was that he wanted a sponge bath, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it. Then when the bath was over, he'd come out and he'd say, Hey, Hal, I, I lactated a pansy, and then I forgot my sword. That's how a typical night went with Cody. Just saying. We got a super chat from the miniature flesh couch. It says the cookie's really phoning it in tonight. <laughs> yeah, I mean she didn't really she she didn't break any new ground, certainly. She just had her treat. She got drunk like she usually does, and then and she didn't, you know, pretty traditional Halloween for cookie, I suspect. <laughs> so some things change a lot of things change in the world, but not cookie. Cookie's always got... Cookie's constant. Cookie's a constant. I want to download that app now. You can download it via iTunes. Well, the it's, one dude is asking about the beer. I think it's a dollar. The beer was sold out many years ago, but we still have a I couple bottles lying bottle around. Courtney has a couple bottles lying around. If you wanted us to send you one, we could probably do it for cold hard cash. Mm oh lord. <laughs> Um, it wouldn't really be drinkable. I can't guarantee it's drinkable because it was created like over a year ago. But it's very spicy, so it might be. But it could be kind of skunky. But you still have a full original bottle of baby cookies and cream beer. But one of the last, I think there's only about three left in existence. Cookies and cream beer. Julius says, What is Hal's political ideology? Well, it depends on if you're talking about the goblin ideology. Sometimes I, when I visit the goblins, they let me have a vote just because I was... I mean, I was actually born in a goblin cave, so I'm, I've naturalized in the, in the kingdom of the goblins. I'm actually not originally from America. I'm actually from the goblin cave. Although I think the goblin cave might have been in the Underdark beneath America, so I guess maybe I'm a have dual citizenship. Half goblin, half American. I want that. The goblins have... Actually, one of the goblins, who's currently the leader, has a... He has a, a blue hat that says, Make the cave great again. He sounds like a dick. 
I don't really know. I'm kind of out of touch with goblin society at this point. I just heard that secondhand from one of my goblin buddies. <laughs> Nintendo Lunchbox still has three empty baby bo bottle of baby cookie beer. That's pretty cool. Those are probably worth at least 10 cents for recycling. Um, Jen says, what do you think about the Halloween documentary that is in theaters right now? That one with Jamie Lee... Kerbals, Curtis, Dornan? Jamie Lee Dornan. <laughs> I heard it was pretty good. I heard there was a lot of accidents while people were eating Activia. <laughs> like accidents in people's pants. Mike Myers is in it. He is? Mm -hmm. Does he play Austin Powers? Yeah, but he's not very good. No, I heard he's went downhill. He doesn't even talk. Maybe they didn't give him any lines? I don't think he could do the accent. What's the Mike Myers accent? Oh, Austin Powers. Oh, right. He's lost that ability. Mm -hmm. He can't... D D Mike Myers didn't say, do I make you horny, baby? No. He didn't even try. That's pretty sad. Sounds like a sad, depressing movie. I don't think I'll go see it. I got a question from Super Hulk Gaming. Hell, does that make you an eligible candidate for the log party? I mean, I I could run. I could run because I'm half, I'm half goblin from the goblin cave. I naturalized there, so. I haven't really thought about it. I'm not really into goblin politics or, or any sort of politics. I'm more just an advisor. I could maybe be a goblin chancellor. I could run for goblin chancellor. The former goblin chancellor, his name was Frog Guts Muzzleton, and he was pretty terrible. Nobody really liked him. He gave pretty bad advice. He once told the goblin leader that the best way to feed all of the goblins was to ransack a <laughs> no that's not what he said I was wrong <laughs> Jared Murphy's super chat <laughs> if you please a spooky story of the hill people to the tune of dueling banjos do you think you could handle the <laughs> Guitar part, Brandon. What's this song about? The spooky story of the hill people. Yeah, can you play dueling banjos? Mm -hmm. It goes doo 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 doo. Yeah. Do it in a different key than that. Well, you do the one part, and then I'll sing a lyric from the story of the hill people for the repeat. This is a story of the hill people. They played Carcassonne and had meeples. They built some roads in a city. <laughs> they got the catapult expansion for the game. They thought it was pretty lame They went back to the original game And that's the story of the hill people I think that was That was dealing banjos That was the dealing banjos That was an abbreviated version of course Thanks Be Before that, they go Jared. nuts What? Before they go nuts, something happens in this song. There's lots of butt stuff. Oh no. Oh god. It could be a Halloween killer. Oh. Oh, yep, it's Dylan. Speaking of butt totally stuff. A Halloween killer. Now Dylan's here to give us all a good lecture on the Constitution, everybody. The Goblin Constitution. How's your Halloween going? It's pretty good. We learned that I was. Born in a goblin cave, so I've actually am a naturalized citizen of the goblins. You got a new couch. It's cooler. I got it. That's not my couch. 
I just, uh, I'm just renting. Just, just I'm just with the room. Yeah, I'm just renting it's this. A really cool couch. I just rent this space for live streams. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. That sounds not affordable. That one? I don't know who yeah, owns it. One. I just. Well, you guys just go ahead and have a conversation then while I um, do a show, I guess. People like it. <laughs> what are you supposed to be? Some sort of dumb... He's the bison king. Dumb. He's <laughs> dumb, dumb. He's the bison king, and then I was this earlier because I had the... I oh, was, I'm glad you put so much thought into your costume. I did. It took me an hour just to make this red star. I got a super chat from Miguel Porras. The show started? What show? Sorry. <laughs> Hal, I'm making a grimoire of stupid, useless spell. Do you know any? I know plenty of spells. I mean, it depends on kind of the specific genre you're looking for of magics. Generally, though, every grim grimoire spell should have a should have a, a section devoted to um, tortures, mental tortures. So if you want, I would just make um, make the sound, make us, uh, I would put a spell in there that, that removes the muffler from all your neighbor's cars. That's pretty good if you want to, I mean, all, from the person that you're trying to, I mean, it's just in general. I think you know what I'm getting at. Not your neighbor specifically. You guys got a shot of the good stuff. Malort? Oh no. That stuff is nasty. Big E says you get to pick who gets it. Oh, good lord. Big E says, Puccine for the two of you. You oh, choose who. Oh, shit! Sorry I couldn't buy three as I've reached my limit. Big E, that's quite a few that's entries into the generous. contest you're going to get. And that's very genes gener that's very genesis of you. <laughs> it's very genocidal. Did you ever read the Bible? It's very genesis. They had a lot of Puccine. But you guys did Jared's song, right? Yeah, we just Strange. did it. It was, it was the song about yeah. that stuff. <laughs> yeah. Now we're gonna have some serious Halloween potions here, everybody. Yeah, but is it gonna be you and Brandon or Brandon and Dylan? Uh, oh, we choose who. Yeah. Oh well, I'm happy to give those two, but I don't think, I think Dylan's gonna lose his mind if he finds out he's having this right away. He usually oh, does. Fuck my you want liver. This one? Have you ever had this item before? No, I don't think so. What is it? Plastic? It's from Ireland. Microwaved plastic. It's quite strong. I think that our best bet is for me to have half one of a shot and Dylan to have half of one. We can split it up that way. That's a good idea. There's one for me. And here's one for old D-Bag. Old D-Bag Brogan. Got some of these handy spouts for the beverages. No longer will I have to uncork them all the time. Just got out of the shower. Dylan, do you want to have Just the... Just got out yeah. of the shower. Oh no, Dylan's in costume. Look out. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So why are we here again? Ooh, this should have brought a bigger towel. Before you drink, do you really have nothing on beneath that? Well, I just got out of the shower. Do you, sh you shower with no clothes on? Most of the time. That's kind of weird. You should at least have a coat. Yeah, I agree. You get that. This is from Big oh, E. What? Big E sent us all a round of Puccine. Get ready for the big one, what, fellas. What's that? You'll see. Oh, it's it's gross, but flavorful. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh. No. No, no. It, it burns going down and coming out oh. and coming back up. Oh, I don't like any of this. <laughs> That's some good stuff. Happy Halloween, everybody. Happy Halloween. Welcome, Dylan. He just got out of the shower. <clears throat> That's my costume. Are I you, was just playing a joke. Are you sexy? Just got out of the shower? Nope, or just, just regular. Just this is the costume I have this year. I just got out of the shower, Brogan. Ugh. Do you usually shower, shower with your socks on? So you do wear clothes then because you have your socks <clears throat> on. Well, I, I had to get over now. here. Oh, right. Wait, you just got out of the shower. Oh, yeah, I, I, I'm not a man. I'm not a... You didn't shower here. No, I trick-or-treated the whole way here. You trick-or-treated? I you? know. I narrowly avoided several laws. Your costume just gave me the hiccups. 
My presence gives you the hiccups. You brought me presents? I know. And how did you do Matt Carlson? <clears throat> Which my, what, who, what happened? You, right? Yeah, Matt Carlson's, we did that a long time ago. Hit up our after party on Chatterbait. Ooh. What's that about? <laughs> What or an after it? party? Which How does Matt? that work? Was it just the one Matt Carlson or a different one? Is there like the Hal, the ha, Hal? Is there Hal yeah. porn yeah. fandom? <laughs> Can you imagine that? Just gross I Hal did. mass and they're like... I, I predicted that... Doing goats. Something about it, but then uh, I don't remember what happened. I'm just making sure that people get... I certainly did it. I have those thoughts. I hope Matt's okay. Did he already... Did the doom already come true? <laughs> Halloween's the most stressful time of the year. Is it? Well, yeah, you're getting spooked all over the place. There's tricks, there's treats, there's the whole th other thing going there's on treats, in Mexico. There's like it's treats a, to eat. There's treats to eat. There's treats to smoke. There's there's things to do. I don't know if Halloween happens in Mexico, does it? Not exactly, but for our sake. Not intentionally. No, it's a whole different thing. Go see Coco. It's a great movie. You'll cry the whole time. Miniature mean, flesh couch at a couch esque. It's not Halloween. I don't want it. Not saying it's Halloween. About that bloody eye for Dylan. He wanted to know if you would drink a combination of Bloody Mary mix and Eye of Newt. Being it is being you know being Halloween. I mean, do I have a do I have an option of okay? Sure. It's very tasty. Bring it on. I know you'll love it. All right. Bring it on, miniature flesh couch. Dylan is on board. I'm on board with your plan. For a spooky Halloween. I just got to go to work tomorrow. That's all. Nothing big. Nah, it's Wednesday. Yeah, you don't need to work anymore. Nah. Today's our last night on Earth. Yeah, is that what's happening? I think so. Well, shit, I would have planned better. I did a tarot reading earlier. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I got the Ace of Spades and... Did you double down? The Tower of Cups tumbled and oh. I got the Joker. So what's that all mean? Pretty sure it's the end for everything. Well, pretty sure. Make sure you're sure. Well, I could have been. Is this your first day on tarot duty? No, um, but uh, I mean, you, you know, sometimes it's ambiguous. Those tarot cards don't always give you the truth. So you know a lot about tarot. It's just ambiguous. Actually, every tarot reading I've ever done says everything's going to end. Oh. I have Salvador Dali tarot cards, but I've never opened them. You probably shouldn't. That's pretty. He dangerous. makes his own brand. He does. Tarot cards are actually really deadly. That makes me think less of tarot cards. Every time you... What does Salvador Dali have to do with it? Why are you bringing him in? I don't know. I bought it at the Metropolitan God. Museum. Maybe he was a seer. He was a seer's? Salvador Dali this was, might have been a seer. He's a soothsayer. A soothsayer. Sears is going bankrupt. Are they? <laughs> they closed in their hometown. Hometown? Which is, oh, that's right. There's a lot of eagles there now in lacrosse. There wasn't, a, there used to be, and then all the sudden, like, it's not even a big deal to see an eagle. And eagles are just. There's so many goddamn fucking eagles. Eagles are. They're awesome. Are just flying rats. You know what's weird? You know, Trump was in Wisconsin. I went to go report on him. On the way there, I saw this enormous eagle, and he like followed me for three miles. It's because they're. I'm not even kidding. He like, he like, I saw him like swoop in, and he was like stood there, like just, but like somehow with the car, like because was, he thought that you were probably small enough. To and then he like got something, and then like I'm like, oh my fucking eagle! You said you're. you were, and, that, and then I'm like, wait, shit! That was, I like gonna, really yeah. saw this eagle. And that, right? And so you I'm really, driving along. Really, and then really it was really back, and it was like we were in a pack together going to see Trump, and it was weird. Did he attack you? Of course not. He's my friend, and I was in a metal box going 80 miles an hour. What is he going to do? We got the Eagles beat. That doesn't mean they're not good. Ooh, yeah, don't take a peek. You can quote Dylan on that. <laughs> we got the Eagles beat. <coughs> that doesn't mean they're not good. And fuck the Philadelphia Eagles. Because I know that bothers them, and I don't understand exactly why. When you get out of the shower, are you always this angry? <coughs> Fuck the police. Blow them out. Rob, Bob Tonkovic says, Can my wife Sherry and I get a spooky song for our 13th anniversary? Is this a song show? Today, a.k.a. our hal anniversary. That's right, it's their 13th anniversary, and that's your hal anniversary. 
Congratulations on 13 years, Sherry and Bob. Let's do a little celebratory song. Can you get your instrument prepared? My instrument's already prepared. And the, the... Me, 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 mo, 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 mo. Should we do it in the style of um, Smash Mouth? <laughs> The spookiest Smash Mouth song. Oh, possible. they have to be spooky songs? It's a spooky Halloween Smash Mouth, Smash Mouth song. Uh, you can't hold this to just spooky mm -hmm. songs. You got the Monster mm -hmm. Mash. What else is there? Creep. We can make Smash Mouth spooky. Maybe we should go ahead. What's their names again? Bob and Sherry. Bob, Sherry. You want to start this off? I want to do the bridge. I'll start it off. Oh, okay, good. Bob and Sherry, this one's for you. It's your 13th anniversary. Congratulations, Bob and Sherry. You find that you've been together for quite some time and it's you've weathered all kinds of things. You feel good. It makes you feel happy when it should. You should kiss each other in the face. Give each other a big disgrace. You should find your way to the store. Buy yourselves a bag of doors. Then you can put them on your house. Because all the mouse is getting inside when you don't have doors. Maybe you should visit the seashore. Maybe you could go on a little vacay. Maybe you could find your way to a sleigh. Maybe you could go with Santa Claus. Maybe you could find your way to the doors. Bob Sherry, it's anniversary time. Aaron's got another 13 minutes of that bullshit. Let's hear five more. That was Aaron. Oh, I forgot. You, that was a... Bob and Sherry. Hal pulled a fast one. <laughs> it was a good deflection. So, um, we'll, let's hear from Brandon now. It's a lot of spoken word in this song. Sherry and Bob. Their anniversary's coming up. That's two ten years in the drain. Two ten more, that's there, no pain. There's three good ones though. Until good ones, you wanna drink till it's fun. That as you might. Bob and Sherry, you're fucking on the sun. <laughs> that's what on the sun. the sun. That's how hot you are, Bob and Sherry. You fucking on the shun. And not that corona shit, the deep inside atomic bullshit. Hot. No, that that sun that's on the box of raisins. That sun. The raisin bran sun. That's right. It's that hot. Thanks, Bob and Sherry. Thanks, Bob. Raisin bran. We all envy you on this All Hallows Eve. As you as you do your thing. Oh, but it's actually the 13th anniversary. That's a spooky number. Yeah, that's why. I it's Don't worry. Halibur I helped you out he, there. Uh, Jared Murphy says, Hal, please open the pod bay doors. I'm afraid. I'm afraid I can't do that. You let the Jem Hadar in. I'm afraid I can't do that, Dave. I can try. What? We, he just said he couldn't do it. What are you doing? We know you can. I don't see You're why you're jeopardizing you... our safety. The pod doors remain closed. I don't see why you need to gotta get inside those doors anyway. <laughs> yeah, give us a reason. Just open them up. Nah. I don't understand an Anagata de Vida. Oh yeah, that, that isn't that that's Smash Mouth Anagata de Vida. If you want me to open those doors, Dave, you gotta give me some motivation. What do I get out of it, Dave? That's a great Kelly Rowland song. Do you know that? No. Anagata um, de Vida. M no motivation. I, I just Kelly Rowland. I was just curious if you knew it personally. It sounds like you're it talking would be impossible nonsense. Impossible to play it on guitar. I think of it. Dylan's talking nonsense. Oh yeah, it's a real change of pace here over at the Hal Show. Trake says, which candidate would Dylan vote for in the Goblin primaries? Oh, d um, definitely um, Smelvin. Theodore? Uh, Kucinich. I love that Smelvin Kucinich. Oh, Smelvin. That guy's ahead of his time. You don't know what's coming. Vote for Smelvin. He's a little, he's, he, he's a little, he's a little for a goblin. And, um. He's a very tiny goblin. He's very small, but dude was prescient. Look that word up and. But he's very, got a big heart. Smelvin Kucinich. That was actually his campaign slogan. Small goblin, big heart. Yeah. He's out for those little goblins. But since most, hey! since most, goblin, most goblins are actually really awful. And his wife, 45 feet taller and 
bang. She's actually a frost, she a frost giant. She is a, 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 a frost astro giant. a frost giant. An astro frost giant. <laughs> but no, and and she has a PhD in astrophysics, which is right. why I said she's bang. She's an astro frost giant. Because she's a big a bang. PhD in astrophysics. Yeah, the goblin world. <laughs> she got a. She married him for his money. Yeah, but that's okay because. They found love. Most goblins are terrible, though. Terrible people, so they didn't really well, vote the, for Well, we're him talking goblins. Because he's, he's... He's terrible. Most goblins have small coal hearts. Yeah, but that's fine. He knows the goblin. He wants, salt of the goblin earth. He wants... Of course he's he terrible. Serious, he's a goblin. We're talking... We're not... He wants serious goblin change. Yeah, he does. He does, and he wants it now. And, and you should take him more seriously. He's a third-party candidate, practically. Dylan, Brad Liston says, Dylan, late as always. Give him a shot. Late? I'm on the relief pitcher. He donated for this lovely You guys talk about moves. goblin nonsense all the time. Are you ready for this? <laughs> Unless until I get here. It's not nonsense. I was born there. I'm a natural goblin citizen. I... I can I just do what I... My thing, come in. You guys need it. You this guys have been working hard. You need a little. You need a little you. Dylan in your life to sp get through. This is not. This is work, folks. This Has is all Aaron does. Hashtag. I mean, hell. Who's Aaron? Why do you keep mentioning that? <laughs> Hashtag. Need a little Dylan in your life. <laughs> need a little Dylan. Thank you, Brad. Need a little Dylan in your life. Oh me. Drink, what do you got in there? Drink the that. Did you drink it this down? Is, I took a little sip and I need a minute. All right, take a bunch of little sips. This is sips. a chaser. Can you pour a little sugar in there? Come on, that doesn't... I don't good. know if that mixes with that. Does ginger ale mix with that? What it, that mix? I think just, you can mix just, anything with come it. Come on, really. just make it a little bit more palatable. Try, There's that not that much room in here. You're not going to share? You're not going to share? You um, won't share your ginger ale? What do you oh, got yeah. in that ginger ale? What do you got in there? What? Just, so, it's just, um, you know, 100% natural flavor. Of the other thing is that you're I shouldn't have come in here and be oh, such Oh, yes. A... Goddamn. What was that? Can you come go... Come in here in a towel. I'm going to attract attention and get fucking wasted. And... Brandon, my helper, helper, can you go to the refrigerator and get the bottle of Buddy Mary mix? Mm. I'm You've being... got to finish this up so I can pour you the other item. Or maybe I'll just pour it in your other shot. No, 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 no. no. Yes. Oh, God. I don't drink like this. Pour it in and then put beer in and then you'll be fine. The spooky gin? The... Is this right? Yeah, it's spooky. Spicy chipotle. It's, see, it's spooky. No, 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 I can't do spicy. I can't do the spice. It's not that spicy. You're fucking killing me over here. This is like not like a bunch of things I don't. You gotta finish that though. You finish that. Just pretend and let's just mix it all in. Pour it in your beer. Pour it in my beer. I'll pour it up your ear. There you go. Good job. This is gonna really. No, I set you back. A can't. This, a I few bucks. just mainline me heroin. What's the word? I'd rather do that than spice. <laughs> And I don't do heroin, come on. Mainline a heron? A heron. Get me Susan Heron in here. Here's the Eye of Newt for this special Halloween show. Oh, you motherfucker. I hate this shit. You know, it's funny. Like, I wish... It's probably entertaining to see how much I dislike this. But it's like all real folks. Like, Have a taste. This is my hell. Have this a where big this... taste. Pretty good. Folks, I'm done. I'm <coughs> what is that? I have a... Okay, for carrying around a constitution all the time, I have a surprisingly weak constitution. Put that... <coughs> I get ya! No, I don't like this. This is like some fear factor bullshit. I don't appreciate it. That was from ah! Miniature Flesh Couch. Yeah, I'll he give says, you enjoy. Flesh Couch. He says, enjoy, Dylan. <laughs> Fuck you, Flesh Couch. I'm getting to get you. Who's that guy? <sighs> oh, it's Brad Flesh Couch. He's getting cut from the team and he doesn't know it yet. Cause Don't. He's going he's gonna to resent it and he's going to, 12 years later, he's going to torture some skinny ass white dude on the internet. Don't forget, if you donate through PayPal, we get more. You YouTube takes 30% of Super Chat. 30%? Yep. Beggars can't be choosers, Hal. 
No, that's true. <laughs> Courtney so makes a good point via a classic quotation about <laughs> beggars. No, hey, we're giving them the option. It's cool, but no, come it, on. It is cool. I just want that Mountain View Road can go it. fucking suck a dick if you ask me. I don't see why you're so oh! why you're so salty tonight. Because you're feeding me. This is a cause for celebration, all this fun stuff that we're doing and the times we're having. There's no honey blonde left. Is that okay? Yeah, you should drink that. You can have one of my hams in the backpack. No, you can have that one, please. Did you see Mario's super chat? I don't know yet because... We still Dylan's like the super been chat. ...raging around like an a-hole. A-hole? You know how much rest you've gotten? Brandon, do you want to... <laughs> I don't want to know what you've done to this. <laughs> you were didn't were reluctant to give actually, it to me earlier, and I took it as a sign that... He actually that did drink most of it. I didn't think he was going to do it. Drink most of it? That's down to the last drop. It's made from real ginger. I got a super chat from... Trakes. Sing a song about why Dylan was late. I'm not late. I'm come, This is when I come on. <laughs> it's like how... It's not late... I can, you want me to- Come on, you, you're, you're, you need a little hal. I can you need a, Can you hum a tune for me? Can anybody- Hum a tune. You wouldn't be able to handle this the whole time. Come on now, we can all know hum, that. Can you hum a tune? I'm not the instrument. Uh, can you hum a tune? Hum. Dylan was late, Dylan was late. Dylan. Mm, Dylan, Dylan was comes at eight. Mm, Dylan was mm, late. Dylan came at eight. He was late, he was filled with hate. Mm -mm. Dylan mm -mm. had a date with his mate. That's why he was late and filled with hate. Her name was Kate. Mm -hmm. Plus eight. She didn't put out and now he'll have to bait. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That's okay. I... Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> Dylan was late, Dylan but on purpose. Was late. That was the Dylan was late song. No, we need to do a better one, okay? No, that Get was that the best fucking, one. I had to hum a little bit, and that's just. I, I, I kind of like that song. I liked it. Dylan is great, masturbate. That was the song. No, that wasn't the song. You got the lyrics wrong. Mary, Mario Jin says, "Who's the sexy broad in the towel?" That's me, baby. Oh, come on now. Oops. I'm w I'm waiting for them to come in. Dylan, oops. I should put Dylan, oops, in the tags. <laughs> he should. Andrea Lauer says, Did the meat fiend okay, fine. named Emery steal some of Hal's ham? I only saw two of them on air tonight. Gifted ham for everyone to sample and the obvious choice of mustard liquor to wash it down. I already got my ham. I got the... The other ham you may not have realized was... D the H Hank Green ate it. <laughs> Hank Green. He, he ate it. That get the gave. We brought it. I brought it. He's gay, but uh, he's not though. That's okay. He's where you get what? It, what if he was? Trust. Are you saying you wouldn't like him? Ham. He ate two ham sticks, and he's trustworthy as hell. Are you eating ham sticks? Sounds a little gay. No, it's not. Ham sticks are not. Ham sticks are. All right, it's fine. Asexual. We're moving on. He's. It's probably straight, He's but just, he hasn't met me no, yet. No, Hank, Hank Green is a coward, is what he is. Oh. He's not a coward. Why, why can't I hate on... Why can't you I don't hate? even know who Hank Green is. No, I don't, but I know that he doesn't like me around when he's around you. That's true, he doesn't like you. See? He's told me. He's told me. Okay, I gotta readjust my towel. You're the only person he doesn't like in the world. <laughs> and who's the special one? Just kidding, he actually said he does like you and wanted to meet you someday. Someday. Not anymore, though, because you called him a coward and well, said he was on, gay. It's an enduring rivalhood. I don't know why you'd ever want to meet you no, now. No, he's my, he's my Aaron Burr to Alexander Hamilton. Anyway, Andrea Laura asked us to have some Eye of Newt. <sighs> okay. Courtney, you're supposed to have some, too. I know. She ordered it. Yes, you're fine. Did. You're fine. Oh, that smells awesome. Yeah. You're a, you're a real doll. All right. You want me to... Yeah, just can I pour it? It's fine. And then Brandon, well, you poured kind of a lot in there. Yeah, I didn't mean to. And a lot of different. Where's your, where's your little wooden shot Where's your glass? little wooden? Where's your, oh, this is it. Wait. Do you have an extra one for me? I don't want to use the one that's for me. Noah, can you go grab one, though? I can grab one. Where is it? In the <laughs> cupboard. Oh, where's my liver one? Actually, there's one on the back oh, of the microwave. Thank you. 
Here, pass this over so she can get some of, <laughs> of this newt action. Can you take it? Thanks. Delicious. And then we've got, got ham. Is this Malort 2.0? Ham snacks. Oh no, I know. I should never come here. Delicious trust in a bundle of ham squares. Oh, did you see Sam's secret chat? Not yet. Do you want to try this? I'm not sure that it looks like it. It's a fucking dog treat. It might be bait. Is I have new what people hate? Yeah. Yeah, it's all garbage liquor over here, okay? You don't mind Courtney it? Courtney doesn't mind I have newt. Much as most people do either. I'm a garbage liquor kind of man. Yeah, but you're like a strong woman. Drink <laughs> it up. Thanks, you like Andrea. Yeah, you're just like, you. compared to everything in my life. <laughs> thanks, Nev Nambia. Yeah, thanks, Nambia. Andrea. Wow. Er. Oh, I do not like any of you. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't go well. With, it doesn't pair well with the ham. Is this like chocolate laced with arsenic? Is that what this? Is that what how that's going here? No, that's really good. You can eat that. Oh. It's regular chocolate. It's I very just, tasty. Are you being serious? I this am, isn't a trick. It's really good. Because I'll pay for a treat. This is good too. Uh, oh my god! Something that doesn't taste like fire. But newt wasn't that bad. Oh, you guys are getting accustomed to the newt. It smells like the Malort, but it tastes like... Uh, it smells like Malort, but it goes down like hams. I'm sorry, I couldn't eat that. You gotta give me some room here. I got no room here. You're, I can't do it. You're manspray or manspreading or something. Those are cool shoes. Who do you think you are, Elvis? Show the folks your shoes. How many times, oh. how many thoughts go through your mouth in one second? Yeah. Uh, do you know what I do when I come over here? I just turn off all... The filters? All the filters. Unfiltered. Except for this one. Uncensored Dylan. All right, Brandon, you just... That's what you get. We're not drunk. Never drink enough. Eye of Newt with ham jerky. It tastes like celery and death. Tongues. Death. All right, how about another song? Come on, this is a oh, musical. Hold on, we'll get to it. I gotta, I'm, I'm behind on Super Chats. Yeah, you're, you're busy eating ham. I did, I did it. Busy eating ham. Two Klux Klan. Two. Oh, Ooh, <laughs> man. That, see, that's what, that's, but, hey, Brandon, I want to tell you. Some that's what happens when the filters come out, all right? Some, you, ju you just started rhyming. Some rhymes are not very good. So the two Klux Klan was actually against the Klux Klan. It's a Klux clam? Klan. Yeah, they just have two an- Two Klux Klan. It's unfortunately very similar, but completely they different like, clan they were like organization. Two, they were like two live crew. No, they weren't. They were a bunch of clam farmers who established the two- the two, what is it, Brandon? <laughs> yeah. The two Klux Klan, <laughs> and it, it happened to do because they they get clams on the the Klux River, and they're a uh, brother and a uh, sister pair, and so together they make up the two Klux Klan. Sounds and good. And you know what? They were been around for a long time now, and and the, it really expanded as an organization. And then it was really unfortunate in the you know this revival. D.W. Griffith of, yes. uh, of yes, this please. totally yes, please go on. different this organization. Is this is fascinating. Of a, a bunch of a fucking you yeah. know fucking mamby pambies. Is if you ask me, you could take that hood off, man. That was that was pretty good. That was a really that was oh, there was a lot of truth in what you said. <laughs> yeah, and there was also you know they're a rap group now. They're not doing I'm, well. I gotta read Two a Klux super Klan. chat from Sam Dean. We get clams out of the Klux River. Oh, it's two oh of my us. goodness, Dylan. Sam Dean's donated a hefty sum. One rule, lose the towel now for good immediately. I command you to disrobe, Dylan, and uh, dance. Okay, but there's a little bit of a, like, a, a story arc that needs to happen. And, I mean, can we get a clarification on when this needs to happen? Because it... Uh, Sam, can it... Can it, can <laughs> it, it obviously it, will happen. Can we climax... This evening, with yeah, come on, we need a little foreplay. The naked. All dance. right, like you're getting what you want, and we're not, you know, let's not. I don't know. I all think right? it's up I to think Sam. To skip all of no, it. no, I'm Richard. You're Richard Gear, and I'm uh, that other woman, Julia, Julia, Julia Roberts. Roberts, and we're in the store now, and you're buying me clothes. All right, you know what's coming. You know what's up. <laughs> you know what's going on. 
So can you wait? <laughs> what happened, <laughs> Courtney? What? I'm trying to do. I'm a little. I'm trying to get a little. Uh, uh, um, a climax going on. That's what I'm trying to do. Tony Mayer's here. Oh, I love that guy. He's a good guy. He's he's funny. He's a Hi, funny. Tony. He's like smart, funny. Long, Aaron? Tony. What? Did you get yes, right here. Eric Ross says, "Loving the voodoo that you guys do. Could you sing a song about the horrors of Sloan Rage?" Loving the voodoo loca. That's not the song. Can oh, we get, Can we get guitar accompaniment yeah. for the horrors of Sloan Rage? You've all, you've both experienced it. I never have. Oh, never. <laughs> Actually, never I was once. on beer and board games once, and he did seem pretty con contemptuous. In the style of be Beck. 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 <laughs> This one. Maybe, maybe. There's a guy sitting out across the table from you. He's looking at you like he doesn't like you. He's got a big scowl on his big face. He wants, he thinks, he thinks you're a big disgrace. He's got Sloan Rage, baby, Sloan Rage. He's got Sloan Rage, baby, Sloan Rage. He doesn't fucking like ya, and then he fucking does. And Eddie's always scowling, and then he fucking does it. And all you want to do is seek out his love. Your motherfucker gonna shake you in a rug. Got Sloan Rage, Sloan baby. Sloan Rage. Sloan Rage. I think that's, that's not the chorus of this song. He's a Sloan Rage, I think it baby. goes like this. You're gonna do the chorus. He wants to kill you. Sloan. I got the Sloan I got that slowly rage, babe, and also a hard one. Slow. He's got a oh, rage. Well, you really got him with that bone rage. It's the slow rage, rage, rage babe. babe. So why don't we kill him? Cause he's fucking softy. Cause, cause he's fucking softy. Cause he's a fucking softy. You gotta just like burrow down. Like your, he's like your towel. You just want to wrap him around you after a shower? I wouldn't say that. He's reluctant to dry you off, but when he does, it feels so great. That was our song about Sloan Rage. <laughs> Hope you appreciated you that. You need one. to school Hal. up on your back. Hal, you saw Sam's super chat, right? Let's, Let's see if I saw that. Towel. Yeah, about the towel. Then we were asking for a clarification from him about what time it could happen. Yeah, because you're, you're stealing my finale. So once he clarifies, can you let us know? Tell Lula Ship says, well, I found the Halloween party I was looking for. Fuck yeah, you did, Lula. That's right. You're, Lula, you're, Lula, you're at the right Lula, place. If you have any questions, Lula. let us know. If we, what was that guy's name? If what we miss it, you can super chat or send PayPal or whatever. What? Uh, Wikipedia? No, the the person who's deflowering me. I think, he, I think Sam wants it now. David Sanborn? Sam wants it now. Sam, come on now. Did he verify? I love you, Sam. Sam Dean. He says, now for good immediately. Now for good immediately? <laughs> Is that still accurate, Sam? I think he made it clear. I don't like, I feel Dylan's pressure. Dylan's playing hard to get. I mean, you're going to get what you want. You just got to wait for it. I'm sorry, Sam. And I don't, it's just, it's going to make it better. I could cover you up with this. Put this around your it's waist. It's the principle. I have, I, okay. It will, the towel will come off. We will meet the basic requirements. Wait, hold still. Look. But I'm not wearing anything under this towel. And this is some he sort of... He looks a lot cuter with this. No, I don't. <laughs> what, if, what if Sam has something to do? What if he's got to file his W-2? Yeah, maybe he's got plans for the evening. Well, <laughs> maybe there's other streams to get, to get people stripped on that he's got to get to. Can we take a five-minute breather on this? <laughs> Feeling, you know how I joked about Julia Roberts? I understand that movie now. Sam, Sam, you're gonna get what you want. You just gotta fucking wait. All right, and I wasn't gonna do Dylan it. Dylan has requested. No, no. no wait, Dylan. No, has... no, this is between me and Sam. No, I know what's going on, and I you're mean... gonna get what I didn't want to give, and I'm gonna give it to you. 
Sam, what's your next song? Dylan's there. requested. Oh, you're already getting nips. Dylan's requested a five minute breather. Do you approve of this? Uh, this uh, just, think I, of the, just think of Aaron Brock. This it. isn't a negotiation. We are, okay, I'm not a hostage. Uh, the uh, services will be rendered. All right? Read the fine print. Just, just like beef gets rendered, so will Dylan. Like a walk to remember. Just sit to the movie and then. Trake says he wants a song about spooky Halloween ghosts that are under Dylan's towel. There's no ghost down there. Can you give me a spooky tune? A boo! In the style of. Di Dick. Spooky. Clark. Dick, Dick Clark, Clark yes, the tunesmith. Dancing with the stars. Dancing with Dick Clark. Spooky. Underneath Dylan's towel resides a number of creatures. When he takes it off, he's gonna reveal a number of multitudinous creatures. There might be a dog, there might be a goat, there might be a frog, there might be a stoat. There could be a massive plethora of geese inside there. There might be a, a shrieking zombie, there might be a wealthy mommy, there might be a stack of papers that are alive somehow. There might be a shaggy dog in there, there might be a ragged frog in there, there could be a slag of dog hair. Oh no, it's a hot mommy. With hot a lot mommy. of mommy. Ooh, and some mommy. Ed mommy. Under She's the got towel. a lot of mommy. What's under that towel? Let's find out. Let's take it off in a five minute break. We're right now. No! We could do it now. We could take off the towel right now. We can't get anywhere with Dylan until he gets bare. Under the towel. It's coming off now. We're gonna get banned from YouTube. Wow. Dylan took it off, but he's not on camera. Ah! You better specify! When you make your demands! Dylan's messing with the man. He can wait. He just went outside. Smoke break. I got a super chat from TCU says, Dylan better not flip me off after this. Well, he can't because he left the room. <laughs> so you're safe. He went outside with his most of his clothes off. I don't, I might have to move after this. Not sure I can stay here anymore. There are trick-or-treaters out there. There are small trick-or-treaters running around. They're with, out after curfew then. Yeah, they have, but they're, these are strange goblin ones. I guess so. They have torches. I think they're having a rally for that tiny Kucinich goblin. If that was 284 in U.S. dollars that Sam paid for Dylan to do that, so people want that to happen. It was 400 in Australian. U.S. dollars. Oh, it was Australian, 284 dollars. Mm -hmm. All right, when Dylan got, gets back in, we're going to, when he gets back in, let's make sure that that towel comes off. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's off. They're right to demand justice for Sam. We'll take care of it, Sam. Hashtag justice for Sam. Hashtag justice for Sam. He said now and he means it. Dylan will pay for his foolishness. Let's do a song he for... Did Wills, right? What about what? Or no, Dylan took a shot. Is that the bloody yeah. shot? Yeah, that was for Flesh Couch. Mm -hmm. Should I do I this song now or wait? Couch. Should I uh, wait? Dylan should disrobe first. Okay, Dylan. What? No! Come over to the table again. We have to discuss this. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on here? I didn't agree to anything, and it's. Hey. No, I'm not. I'm not. What is going on here? This is a very different kind of show than I thought it would be. Maybe I should have thought this through a little better. Yeah, you did wear a towel. After All right, well, fine, but. Shower. There was no expectation of when. I never said no. All right? And so, it's Why fine. Why do you have a screwdriver? Because I need to gear up for this bullshit. Oh, God. <laughs> that new meth vape. You got that new meth flavor. 
We got that robot math flavor. Are those Halloween candy uh, vapes? Do they make those? You know, like they used to make Halloween candy cigarettes? Candy cigarettes? Is that a candy vape vapor? Yes. You're vaping candy? It's absolutely a lawful product. I smell vaping. Candy. Hang around. Vaping by myself, it's totally illegal in most states, I'm but I... At a public pool, it, and there it's she... a little questionable. <laughs> but I'm super fucking high, so... I'll vape in public, yeah, hmm, on the diving board. There's a small turd floating up, yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> And Might who's that mine, but... fucking seven-year-olds flashing me? No, hey, I, I am, no, this is not okay. All right, fine, fine. It doesn't even ruin my surprise because while I was outside, I was able to rectify the situation and still preserve my finale. That's my favorite line from High Fidelity. This is, this is very close to my line right here. <laughs> All right? Fine! All right. <laughs> you made me put on clothes. Dylan has been successfully... But I still have a surprise. ...successfully prostituted here tonight. On ha This was the spookiest Halloween Yeah, ever. and just because you couldn't wait, it could have been so much better, Sam. Quit rubbing me. <laughs> <laughs> this was definitely the scariest Halloween thing I've ever been a part yeah, of. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, can we move on to the fun? <laughs> I'm not sure I wanted to see your briefs. It, well, even nobody wants to see them. Even briefly, I didn't want to. Don't worry, folks. I still, we still got well some fun surprises if left. If she's not, wasn't <laughs> Stop it. if she wasn't scared <laughs> off, if she wasn't scared off by seeing most of your body, we've got to sing a song for Judy Collins, who asks for a song. Oh, great! She's Let's. Not scared. She loves Dylan. She does. Oh, good. Yeah. All right. You can have him. Judy, I need to apologize. Can we sing a sweet song? For I Judy am Collins? mortified right now at what you must think of me. And you're, you're just a good person. I just know that. I think she thinks good of you for honoring the deal. She does. Hell is my pimp. I need help. This song is for Judy Collins. Here we go. No. Yeah. Perhaps there's something, <laughs> yeah, more special. <laughs> Is the, and the style of Neil Young. Neil Young. Oh, yeah, there you go. Come on, it's easy. You got, how do you not and know can Judy you sing by it now? To Judy, please. Judy, the song. I need a little help. I like to go. I like King, to. No, King Bison. I want Bison. Yeah. King. Neil song. Yeah. Neil, Neil song has a sing called Judy. Neil, Neil Young? song. Neil song for young Judy. Uh, well, Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young has sweet Judy blue eyes. Yeah, or just any oh, sort of Crosby, sure. Stills, Nash, or Crosby. I know the most obscure Neil Young. Yeah, play that, and then sing it to Judy. Where she began, I can't begin to know, but then I know she's going strong. Judy, Judy. Was it a name, or that was she... Do a little better next time, Brandon. Judy. Okay, do that part again. <clears throat> Judy. Watching me. Whore myself out in front of you. I'm really sorry. <laughs> But I'm doing it for you, Judy. Sweet Dylan skin. Do, do, do. I look like a J.C. Penny mannequin. Boy section, boy section. Sweet Dylan skin. Do, bop, do, bop, do. bop. Dylan revealed more of him. And will do more if you. Oh, why did I do that? <laughs> All right. You said you didn't want to reveal but, all of your body bits. 
So why did you just say that you do it more? I don't know! I don't know! Must be this vape pen. <laughs> Dylan got high. Oh no. And he told a lie. That's not true yet. <laughs> We don't want to see more of him. YouTube! YouTube! Sorry, Judy. Mop, mop, mop. We'll try to stop Dylan from doing things. Not gonna, not gonna support that. We'll try to punch him out. If he ever does something we don't like again. You guys love me. Judy, take a look at our lies. Uh, we're a lot like you are. Judy, examine your status as a person of I don't know why you had to keep going. Yeah. It seemed like the song was over and then I ruined it. You kind of came along and yeah, you never do that. Wrench okay. In the works. Yeah, I, I. That's my. I am a wrench in the you, works. You are a. You're not a symbolic. You're a literal wrench. I am the wrench of destruction. You on are all the wrench Hallow's of destruction Eve. and all Hallow's Eve. All Hallow's Eve and wrench of destruction. All Hallow's Eve, wrench of destruction. Oh my my! I got no. Okay, taking my underwear off. All right, Judy's a hooker what? with a heart of gold. No, why would you do that? Because that's the costume, and I had a, a, a supplement. But you can't show, we can't, you're not really- It's not about it. that, it's about authenticity. We can't show the insertion of the suppository. <laughs> that, I'm not- But we can still insert You have it. medical needs, others don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's worse than the F word. That rings true. But at least you weren't making music when he said it. Ba, ba, ba. Templarium asks- I always forget this is a music show. Templarium asks, where's Matt Sloan? He's at home safe in his basement. Yeah. Probably relaxing. Maybe drunk posting to Facebook. Yeah, some, <laughs> well, there's a lot of posts, you know. He, 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 the, uh, he doesn't like the guns. Meow. Meow? Meow who? Meow. Meow is on the Facebook phone. How come my comments aren't refreshing? I better have changed the page. So good! So good! Did I miss anything? Oh, why am I doing? Some stuff, but let me read you one from Carrie. Ooh, carry woman, carry man. Okay, you read it, and then Dylan will shut up for a second. Uh, um, see how I'm treated. Carrie says that she would love you guys to sing about Watson, her puppy, and then a prediction from Hal about what she'll need to survive open enrollment season. A prediction from me about how to survive open enrollment uh. season? Can I get some spooky prediction music? What kind of open enrollment are we talking here? Insurance? Typical college kind. Mm -hmm. Is it healthcare? Um, yeah, but it's open She's going on the Obama market. We need to know how she fares on the Obama market. Will she get a low deductible? <laughs> Carrie Mathias. Mm. Looking for healthcare mm. in all the wrong places. Mm. You need to seek out. A medicine man. His name is Bruce. Bruce Arthur. Medical insurance salesman. I know him personally. He provides all of the best care. He will cover pre-existing conditions when others won't. He will cover all of your medical needs with tinctures he mixes up in the back. He will find a way to cure you of any Affliction that you can find. Call Bruce. Yeah, why have you been holding out on Bruce? Tonight. Sounds great. His number is 563. Give him a ring and get insurance for a good price. Bruce. Bruce Mar. Bruce Care. I hope that helps. That's really the only way to go at this point. There's no other options because the rest are all being secretly erased for you. Mm. Every politician says, I won't get, you can get coverage for pre-existing care. Joke. I have a pre-existing condition. Me too. Brain problems. Body issues. Yeah. Body problems. Brain issues. 
Now sing a song for Carrie. She requested this, I believe. Okay, let's. Watson. About her. It's her collie. Her collie Watson. That's alive. Ready, go. Get right into it. You can do it. You can do it. I wish you would jump up on my bed, my friend. You have big ears and sloppy tongues and everything that I'm into. Why don't you snuggle up on me again? And then I understand. That was good. About, is Watson a dog? The ice is cold and the rain's coming down. All the sheep don't know where to go. Then Watson comes, he knows what to do. It's in his fucking blood to hurt the fucking sheep. And he rushes them into the barn. Even that fucking dick sheep over there. And Watson, you are a fucking hero, man. And when I fall down a well, I'll call you my friend. Cause Y'all box some cow communicate people who fell down wells. Check your dog dish, Watson. There's a treat there for you. Five dollars. Five dollars. Don't spend it all in one dog food store. And avoid that. Avoid that noise. Avoid that noise. <laughs> Thanks, Carrie. I got a super chat from Nintendo Lunchbox who says, Dylan, we've already seen your ball sack. No, you haven't. That is movie making magic, and I will. You'll see my ball sack, don't worry. It was actually a prop sack. <clears throat> it wasn't a prop sack, it was a vicious slander on my character. The miniature flesh cut says, Where was Dylan hiding that vape pen? Where? In between my in in your cleavages? My cleavages. Where all prostitutes hide their items. Yep. Hey, I got nothing under there now, bud. You just lay off. Brandon just wanted to make sure. You're not supposed to poke people. Was okay or, or down there. What do you, you see somebody on the street, you're just like, woo-hoo, come up here, hottie. Is that what you do? If they're wearing a towel. <laughs> All right, I argue with that. What if they got locked out? They won't let me did in. You, uh, did Dylan do Brad's shot? Nope, we're, wait, what? Who? Oh, no. I don't need uh, any more. When was that? A long time ago? Yes. Are you sure? It's um, right now, I see it. Positive. Oh, my God. It was way back when? Yeah, Brad, oh, my. Yeah, he was late. We didn't we even do a song about how we were I late? wasn't. And then he did the, po the, po the poochine. Yeah, we did that. Yeah, I'm up in my rate here. That's what I'm doing. Uh, 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 up in my rate. Sam says, oh, wait a minute, I missed an, a different one. Brad Liston says, recently promoted, and you guys have always been a great use of my downtime. Request e -Hal song about technology. Oh, yeah, let's sing a song about... I can do this. Yeah. Give me uh, some technology. Give him a beat. Chords. Give him some beats. Give me that beat, that bump, that howly stuff. How, how, how. How, how, how. A lot of you are probably wondering where technology is going and taking us. Well, let me tell you and I'll break it down and let you know where it's taking us. You got AI over here. You got computer actions over here. They meet somewhere in the middle here. And then... The Boom. robots are fucking up the all of our shit. Up they stole all of our, our fucking shit. joints. Now we're smoking this shit. The robots created vaping. The robots created taping. They like things that we don't. They want to control us. They're developing minds. They're developing spines. They even are developing giants. They're making things the way they want. They're going to take over all of us. One zero one zero one zero nine one zero one zero one zero nine. Binary four. Binary four. That's binary four. The robots are killing all of us. That's some. That was the best song you ever did, Al. Thanks. 
I just did a song about technology for Brad Liston. Like that bio song. Did it really? It sounded like Lady Gaga. From the Splur Did Tap you steal show? that from a polling place you're not allowed That's to be a at? Cut. Yeah. <laughs> That's a Brandon yeah. Brandon voted. Sam Dean says, please foretell the doom of Julie Gormley. She's a fat person. Thank you. Oh. Why do we got to do that? I'm d I do it. I'm the fortune teller with the hat. All right. See? She better stay fat. That's how we like her. Julie Gormley. Mom. You will be inside of a porta potty. You will hear a strange noise coming from above. It will sound like bees. The bees will buzz around the porta potty. You will feel afraid in your bones. Hey, lady, hurry up! You're allergic to bees, and you didn't realize it. If you leave that porta potty and the bees sting you, it's over. Will you escape the porta potty? Ma? That's up to you. What do you predict? I predict you will exit the porta potty and immediately get stung thousands of times, and that'll be it. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but you might have there might be a chance. I know I usually predict people's doom pretty concretely, but there was a chance there. I can't tell you the way out. I can only see. I think you got to go in the porta potty. You might be able to. If you have a cell phone, you might be able to phone one of your friends. To bring some epinephrine. Or or just bring some raid. Or raid. It depends, though. You'll have to have a lot of patience, and you'll have to stay in the stinky porta potty And if you bring Brandon, he'll bring the rock. He'll Brandon bring his... Says to tell Dylan that nine isn't part of binary. No, it's not. <laughs> not the computer language you know, Brad. It's one zero 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 one zero nine. I didn't know there was nines in there. That's when the AI actually develops intelligence. How else do you do the 99? When AI develops intelligence, then that's when they add nines in there. Fuck yeah, they do. They love the 99. Pretty sure that's the case. Anyway, uh, thanks, Sam. Appreciate that. Ma, 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 ma. If you want to hear your doom, there's information in the description on how to do that. If you want to hear your doom, oh. there's info in the description. We're not singing now, though, because look, you could win the shuffleboard. Oh, that's cool. First prize tonight, or your choice, really. If you win the first prize, you get the choice of that. Or you can win this box of crazy sodas like Leninade. Oh, that is cool. I want some Leninade. Is there like a Stalin, uh... Worm ooze. Oh. It's weird how they're not all communist related. There's some other ones too, like Alien Snot and B Burroughs. Leninade, and then is it? That's weird. I would have stuck with the. Is it? Yeah, well, like Trotsky Ale. They have the Osama bin Laden one too. Oh, yeah, yeah, we yeah. used to have that one. Yeah. Not anymore, though. He's my favorite. I drank it. This is also on the uh, available he was as a, a prize. Rich motherfucker. This really <laughs> neat looking skull shot glass. You could drink out of that and feel pretty hardcore about yourself. And then lastly. There's the final option for prizes. Real quick, is this... Does this have something to do with a fart? No. With ham. Islamabad. <laughs> That's oh. right. And this shirt with a kitty that says Islamabad. It's a, it's a pig. <laughs> yeah, that shirt... What's with, wrong with Islamabad? That shirt with a kitty that says... It is a little weird, though, that Pakistan's capital is Islamabad. <laughs> okay. We're we're gonna. You, we, you, no, you, no. <laughs> I've destroyed the show. You have no. What you destroyed is all is <laughs> all of ham. Most of our. Hey, get out of here! You think all the ham stuff they like you, that over there in Islamabad? They don't. You just destroyed our some of our sanity tonight. <laughs> yeah, I did. That was a such a deep observation that our foundations of our whole mindset have been cracked open. It's hard to believe I've only been here an hour. Am I the only one that has peed? <laughs> Ever? I'm beyond peeing now. I'm beyond say. Hashtag beyond. Do you have to pee again? Hashtag it's okay. beyond peeing. No, no, no. I have to pee again. <laughs> I have to pee again. But I've never. Brandon is not doing that to me. I never peed though. I'm not. He's not good enough for me. 
Matthew Carlson, Come on. Tr aka Trake, says shots for everyone to help deal with the Brogan bulge. Mm. It is a bulge too. It's very strange. Thank why, you. Why Matt. is everyone surprised I bought my bulge? You bought your bulge. Wash it down with. I some bought ginger. my bulge with some bulge with ginger. The ginger chase. No, I'm not drinking that thing. We're gonna have some. I don't goat. know what you got in there. We're gonna but have some goat mucus. It's ginger ale. It's warm ginger ale. Dylan, this is very tasty. You're gonna want this. Here, Dylan, Ooh. the bram brambles. You got a Melvin's question from someone who doesn't like you, Hal. Ooh. Say what now? A hater. Rhonda said they didn't like you, and then they said, "What do the Melvins smell like?" Okay, good. What's up? Um, <laughs> I wanted to know if I'm giving you a shot of this too, Courtney. Uh, from Matt. Yeah. Yes, licky licky. Matt no thanks. Awesome. Is this all cleared out? Oh, not really. That's not gonna. Work. Here, I'll take this one. Okay, you can use this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, this is really tasty. Drink it down. It's delicious. Here, can you take this? Drink it down. It's super delicious. It's totally not gonna make my throw up. Drink some. Drag it to Matt. Mm. Isn't that good? Yeah. It is Courtney good. made that goat mucus. Ooh. It was all good until you said the word mucus. <laughs> it's got Bailey's in it. I can taste Something it. about the Melvins. I interviewed the Melvins. They were pretty fun. Are they a punk rock band? They are. Yeah. They were are very, they like Lemonhead? They were a very tough interview, but I cracked them wide open. They were really nice, though. They were very they nice, were really actually. Polite. I have to pee -pee They were very good. They were gentlemen, ultimately. They were gentlemen. Oh, why? Brandon just they can't see that, spread really his sense. is spreading his butt cheeks at us. Just letting you know. Anyway, uh, yeah, the Melvins were really fun. Hank Green was a really fun interview too. I hope you saw all these most recent interviews. Did you go out to LA? No, we went to Milwaukee. Yeah, they were in Mil. Uh, oh, Hank was in Milwaukee. Here, the right? Melvins were here in town. His sign was in Milwaukee, and it was not. Yeah, Hank couldn't come here, but he was he was gonna try to fly here just to do an interview on my hot seat. Ooh, you got a hot seat. Yeah. You got that hot seat, how baby. Anyway, what was that question about the Melvins? Now I've what forgotten. Did they smell like? Oh, they smelled like uh chiffon. Number. Dale Crover had a nice handshake. Dale Crover had a nice handshake. What's that a euphemism for? <laughs> it means that he no. It means he's really. Yeah, he really likes to jerk a guy off. I guess I don't know. Wow. Dylan. Dylan just makes things up. <laughs> Sam Dean says, "Drinks for Dylan and Courtney. Party on, dude and dudette. Say Ooh. night bane." Thank you, Sam. Courtney, what do you want? Newt. I have, I have newt here. She seems Is to this like. Stuff that I'm not supposed to drink because it's special. No. No. It's You're, gross. The, the Who could be more special right? than you? Poutine is... <laughs> Courtney is getting plowed over there and doesn't I realize it. I have news to punishment, but Courtney likes right it for some reason. That was not it's very strange. Getting Are plowed you, you does not more, mean getting drunk. Do you want more goat piddle or do you want something else? Take some goat piddle. Here, I'll pour it for you. You can't touch Oh, it's, You're asking me? Yeah, this is for you. It's from Sam. Thanks, Sam. Sam's a big fan of your nude body. Yeah, damn right. You just wait to the finale. There you go. Drink it all down. Drink it all down. I'm leaving you to man the feed. Wait, I'm, you can't leave too. I'm off to the bathroom. What's going on? Have fun, towel boy. Alright. We're gonna do a little bonus song here. We're gonna do a bonus song. It's a bonus song about me and Hal. We've been friends for all the ages. He's kind of a little weird, but he's a good guy in the end. And I definitely wouldn't get naked as much without him. All right, I need some inspiration, apparently. All right, party on. What do you want? I'm a little horse. All right, I'll sing about my, how about my week? Oh, how about I sing about my Trump rally? Yes. All right, so the other day, folks, this guy with a red hat on came to Mosinee. 
And he talked about how all these Mexicans were fucking all the shit up. And it was weird, cause we're a fucking 1500 fucking miles from the border and wide. We're not a problem here, so what is going on, Brand? Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, what happened? What did I miss? Some horrible nonsense. Is hell getting high? No, let's do some stuff. Okay, I want to be in a giveaway. Can we sing a bo- <laughs> Okay, a boner song. Got it. We got a boner song coming up. I need you, Brandon. The truth is, I can't really do anything without my, without my pal Brandon in terms of the music. Boner song. This is a boner song. <clears throat> no, you can't come back now. I wasted my whole solo. I'm I'm a sorry all for not being prepared. What happened? It went <laughs> No. Oh, your hands are wet and gross. I'm Okay, I'm finding some more clothing or something. <laughs> I'm finding finding all of you. <laughs> Sorry about that, I accidentally disrobed you on my way to the seat. Yeah, you did, you disrobed seat. me. And how you should ask the folks who would like you to interview next while you have everybody watching. Yeah, who would you like me to interview next? Anybody in the world, I can get anyone. I have some serious contacts and resources. Ray J. Johnson. Who's Ray J. Johnson? You could call him Ray, or you could call him Jay. He sounds he like an 80s artist. Is he alive? He might be. <laughs> he might be alive. What did Dylan do? Everybody's saying wow. And I got pee outdoors because that's where I'm meant to be. I don't think he should do that. So probably he's gonna get a, a he's gonna get arrested for exposing himself indecently. Oh well, it won't be my fault. Brad Liston says Dylan isn't done with that song yet. Well, he just took a little break. But when he comes back, maybe he could continue it. He must have said something interesting. I missed the entire thing. He's talking about the Trump rally. Are you singing about the Trump rally? Dylan went to a Trump rally. I'm surprised he survived. Knowing him, of course that? they probably liked the they probably liked that he flashed that Constitution around. Oh yeah. I think we should make him a. Uh, he should come back dressed in a suit made of constitutions. <laughs> that would be impressive and unexpected from Dylan. Melanie Brookbank says, A lovely All Hallows Eve to you all. May your pumpkin... Pumpkins be filled with oh, ham. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. May your pumpkins be filled with ham. Round for the house. Thank you, Mel. Thank you, Melanie. We drank some of your beer this evening. The blonde ale was wonderful. Turned down for what? And then, uh, oh, a round for everybody. <laughs> Melanie does rule, and then what would you like to drink? I'm going to, there's still a little bit of the goat mucus left, so I'll have a big sphincter of that, and then what oh. would you like, Brandon? Melanie rules. She does. I'll have a shot of that. Okay, we'll put it in this glass. Dylan's very upset about everything tonight. Not having a good Halloween at all. And then, Courtney, are you going to have more of the newt? I drink newt? all of this eye of newt, is that... I have more eye of newt. It's a problem that you don't have punishment shots? No, I have more eye of newt. Plenty more where that came from, <laughs> my dear. <laughs> Cheers, Mel. Thank Here's you, to Mel. you. Oh, which one's... Oh, the goat mucus. Cheers. Dylan owes Sam his entire penis. What did, did he Melanie do? Did Melanie dress up tonight? Maybe she'll answer. Mel, did you dress up tonight? Brad, when Dylan gets back, I'll try to make him finish that song. He might be finishing it in the bathroom. I think right? Dylan's feeling a little pressure tonight to do things. <laughs> he disappeared into the bathroom now. I don't know what he's doing. Probably vomiting. Typical carpet bagger. This is a lot of calories for him. <laughs> he is very skinny. Dylan, Brad Liston wants you to finish that song. What song? Something about a Trump rally or something. Oh, it, that's pretty much what happened. Well, you've got to add something to it. Cause... Okay. Get your guitar out. Oh, I want you to finish it. 
Well, yeah, but you gotta. What are you? Are you not participating? Drink. I don't know what you did though. Your what did you do? <clears throat> Just from Melanie Brookbank. Thank her. <clears throat> Melanie Brookbank. I hear you're the best. Okay. How about this? We do. You play a song. Anything. How about a Weezer? We can't get enough of this American flag. Fuck all those people on the border before. I can't get enough of that Obama care. It's gonna be fucking fantastic. Just wait. Oh no. Trump is fucking coming to town. He came to go help Governor Scott Walker of Wisconsin. But then, he really did this shit, all right? He pretended like Scott Walker was calling him after the governor lost the race. He's like, who's that calling my man? Is it Scott fucking Walker? I'm not taking his call for months. He fucking shat all over that dude. He fucking shat all over that dude. And he was there to fucking help him? There is a Senate candidate named Leah Vukmir. She's really fucking conservative and used to be a nurse. He was there to help her out and it was really cool. I guess if you like both of them, it's really cool. But then... He called her fucking Leah Vukmar. Her name is Leah Vukmir. He knew he got it fucking wrong, so what did that do? He doubled down and called her Leah Vukmar. <laughs> Leah Vukmar. <laughs> Trump is a dick. <laughs> Dylan's got his half vape. Oh, where is it going? It's out of batteries. <laughs> Fuck them robot weed. That's some good meth in there. That was a song about the state of politics. That, all that is true. Reported by a news reporter. Hey, did you get Julie's super chat? I was just looking at this. Wait, where did it go? Julie Gormley says, I want to be in the giveaway. I want to give Sam Dean away. Oh, that's not how it works. Shame. Yeah, we don't sell people unless it's my body. Julie, you, Julie, you you got to be a little miffed at that guy, right? He made us sing that or just, just predict your doom in the porta potty, and that was pretty nasty. Yeah, it was not good. We'll try to give him away, but I don't think it, it's. I don't know if he'll let that happen. Um, she should get a song or something for that. Question. We could give Julie Gormley a song. Let me just catch up with the. Uh, there's so, so many to super chats, you know, that I gotta keep up with here. Okay, uh, Miniature Flesh Couch says, Dylan is disappearing into the tapestry now. You're good. But he's got his American flag, though. Yeah, I'm okay. zipping it up. I'm zipping up. Then I'm zipping it up. Uh, okay, and first we're gonna do a little song for Julie Gormley. I'm just going, actually, I'm gonna sing a, I'm gonna do a poem for Julie. About giving can, away well, Can it be a haiku? Yeah, we get 575. Five. Sure. Jumli, Jumli, Julie Gormley says, Sam Dean, you are a fucktard. Get a job, creep. Bag. I'm ruined it. That's five. That was six. Get a job, get a job, creep. Bag. Get a job. Cr okay. <laughs> Hal happened to be right. He was a real dick about it. <laughs> so screw you, dude. Der. <laughs> Thanks, Julie. Sam, are you okay there, buddy? 
You've gone through a you lot. You got of me games. all fucking drunk and blah blah. blah, blah, blah. Hams tonight. That stuff's pretty strong. At least three. At least I didn't drink fucking whatever Brandon's drinking, and you got some LSD in that. No. He's like, I'm doing my bowl. Trimming my balls, trimming my balls, I'm Brandon, trimming my balls, I gotta get tired, nobody vodka. knows this. Sam Dean says, speak fake Chinese for a full minute and make it interesting and enlightening, thank you. I don't remember that being an fake option. Fake Chinese? I don't remember that being an option in the description, but I guess we can try to work something no, out. No, they said real Chinese, right? Courtney knows real Chinese, can we hear some? Are you chomping at something? Are you, you still speaking Chinese? Yeah. All right, we'll give him what he wants, and it won't be fun. But you just say things, and no, I'll try it, to it, say it'll them be back. A, no, listen, because we're all three of us are going to do it at once. Ready? Yeah, I really want to learn. Here just we go anything. for a full minute. One, and then, and then two, I'll, three. It's already Chinese. been. Chingi manga kai shu. No, everybody goes at the. No, once. this isn't. This isn't how Chinese works. I'll show you how Spanish Ready? works. One. Esquerda de recha de lante de tras. Es abajo arriba en frente y cime oral muchacho se cabo arriba. Oral muchachos. I'm not good at Spanish and I don't speak Chinese. Was that good enough, Sam? I'm sorry you're not getting anything you want tonight. <laughs> Just like, um, yeah, Sam, but you're asking me to get naked and then to like, uh, and speak Chinese ins for insult a like three billion people. What I'd really like to see is on your own YouTube channel. Here, I'll insult the Chinese for you. Get your fucking currency together and lay off the fucking <laughs> South China Sea. Ch Chingy Mongo. You got enough problems. How about just like don't fuck with Tibet for a while? Yeah, China. Listen to Dylan. All right. He's got an American flag. And no, I, well, you don't give a shit about us, and that's great. We don't give a shit about you. So just lay off, all right? And tell that fucking Kim Jong-un to fucking stick it up his own. All right? Yeah, Dylan. That's your fault. This is on you. Hey, China, Dylan's colors don't run. Don't run. It's not even an American China. thing. Just take care of your shit. I want a sticker that has a... That's a, pi a picture of... Dylan peeing on China. No, I don't want to pee on them. Dylan and Hobbs. It's like Calvin peeing, but it's Dylan. No, I want it. Dylan and Hobbs. Way to make this racist, Sam. Yeah. And Hal. You did, Sam. And Hal. I was speaking not racistly. There was nothing racist about it. Courtney spoke real Chinese. You told us to pee on China, and we don't need to pee on Courtney, them. what's another They Chinese pee on over their citizens phrase. all the time. Wu Dao. I forgot what it means. Wu Butcher Dao? I think My cousin, Carrie Berry Broken, is a famous actress in Japan. What is Dingy Manga Kaishu? I thought we were talking about Oh, I mean China. China racist. What did you say? I get them confused. I think it's Open Your Books class. Open Your Books class is Tangy Mongol Cycle. In Tangy Mongol Cycle? Tangy Mongo Cycle. Oh my god, we the, the the great Chinese firewall is Ta like Tana Mongo Cycle going crazy right now. Pretty sure it's Tango Tana Mongo Cycle. You know, I wouldn't be offended if people got us confused with Canadians. What? Okay. Yeah. Matthew Carlson says, sing a spooky Halloween song for Courtney about how great she is. We can do that. We can definitely do that. What, you're not feeling the love? Oh, do you want to hear Courtney? guitar should never come out. Do you guys want to hear Courtney sing a spooky Halloween song? In fact, that would be even better. What's hilarious is you're so hairy, people wouldn't even notice if you... Oh, you don't want me to play that one? I should play the other song that wasn't you? Yeah. Okay, I'll play that one. Let's caught me banging in it. China. She caught me banging in Italy. <laughs> I was banging Kim Jong-un. And it was in Macedonia. was in I gotta say it wasn't <laughs> that, me. I like how you're like, I got a fucking in China. It wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing coke in Belgium. It wasn't me. I was robbing all the gas stations in Estonia. <laughs> it wasn't me. There's a lot of gas stations in Russia. We had the cold petrol. Have you been to Russia? No, I don't Me try either. to I don't try to go places. <laughs> okay, listen to this Halloween song in honor of Courtney. Oh, it's her favorite Halloween song. Wait. 
Witches and goblins and jack-o'-lanterns bright Creep through the town on a cold October night You hear the sound of running feet and nothing can be seen But the strangest things can happen on a wild Halloween You guys got a weird sex life <laughs> I won't comment. <laughs> I couldn't find the one with the beat on short notice. There are multiple versions of that song. <laughs> Some would like it, like they got that 808 fucking shit going up. Oh, that is way hotter! Can you mute it? Because you might be playing copyrighted music or something. Oh, that's the actual broadcast. That's what that is. <laughs> that's us listening to our own broadcast. Re I always suspected this was a chatterbait house, but I didn't have proof until now. For Rhea True says, For the crime of robbing us of Dylan's beautiful bare chest, I sentence hell to a potion. That's Sam's fault. All right, I'll, I think the goat's mucus is potion pudding. We got that goat mucus lotion. It's almost gone, but I'm... No, 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 no. You don't get one. You didn't get one. No, no, I get it. <laughs> don't stop. No, you can't. You have... You don't have it. You can't have it. It's only... I thought I had to have it. Someone I... wants you to have it. I already gave it. Oh, I didn't one. know someone didn't give it to me because they've been giving it. No, that me was all. just for me for Rhea True. For being, for be, being a ruit who? Yeah, I robbed you. I robbed everyone of your bare chest by harassing you. Man, manly harassing. Burp. <laughs> Sometimes you're good. <laughs> Did you eat your chocolate? It's not, I didn't know it was mine. Did you eat chocolate? Oh, yes, uh, I had my chocolate. I ate it all today. I ate my chocolate yesterday. Oh, you ate that one. Was that a good song, Matthew Carlson, or would you prefer another song? Would you prefer I fly to where you are and give you a private show with Brandon and accoutrement? But he'll pull out at the last second. Hell yeah, I will, like a gentleman. To say, I need a five minute break and then he'll. he'll no, leave. I'll pull. <laughs> I liked what you said before about pulling out. Gotta prepare for the Brogan babies. That's what we're trying to prevent. All right, this is this is terrible. How you sexualize me? You got some good facial hair going on, though. Thanks. Did you do Brad's song? You did, right? You finished. You finished that. We yeah, did, we did it. We did Dylan it. Finished the hell out of it with his reporter information about the Trump rally. What's it like being a reporter? It's really fun, but man, you get paid poorly, but your job is cool. Do you feel like you learn a lot about things? Yeah. Like how fucked up everything is, but that, and how everyone agrees, but they the don't. <laughs> and how everyone agrees, but no. You know what was weird about going to the Trump rally? How many people were like, "Oh my God, be safe, be safe up there." It's like. This goddamn fucking family's from Wausau. I'm not worried. <laughs> How does your breath smell like Cheez-Its? My breath smells? Like Cheez-Its, but it was chocolate. Can you not smell me? No, I want Cheez-Its. Maybe it's... I, I want Cheez-Its. <laughs> does anybody have some Cheez-Its? You know, what's funny is... Okay, it's just occurred to me. Cheez-Its and Jesus. They the same thing. They kind of, they sound alike. I, like, hope, I hope that you guys were are happy that you're a part of Oh, this. praise Jesus! Do you know Jesus backwards? It's sausage? Sausage! <laughs> That's a town in Wisconsin, too. Good old sausage. <laughs> hope you're glad you were privy to that conversation. Oh, uh, Matt would like you to sing a song. Matt would like us to sing a spooky song about how great Courtney is. I like my sausage to hang out for a while, too. I like my sausage like I like my... Women. 
Jesus. Maybe we could make this a soul song. <laughs> Courtney's got a lot of soul. <laughs> oh, when the folks come marching in. Oh, when the folks come marching in. Boo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, Lord, Courtney's there to greet them. She's really great with all of them. How great is she? How great is she? She's fucking great! She's fucking great. She's fucking greatest person in the world. In the whole world. And then why do we speak so kindly? Because she puts up with hell pretty finely. Take it, Brandon. Hi. <laughs> Bye. Nope, I'm still here. He's still alive! I like to sing in the numbers of grand... Fucking... Just keep going! Keep going on! Because you're singing about Courtney now. Courtney is a great person. And we all really like her a lot. Do -do -do -do. Four minute bridge. Bow bow. That's an ending. That was a pretty good ending. You know how to end shit. That's how you do it. Jamsaw77 says, Cheese it's Christ. Cheese it's Christ. Cheese it's Christ. Superstar. Super, star. Super snack. Cheese, Cheese it Christ. Christ. Super, Super snack. snack. I wish I knew more of that musical. Stuck on my tongue and you can't go back. Want to swallow. But Cheese it's Christ. Can't Hey, chew get you out of here. Cheese it's always swallows. I don't know what that means, but it sounds terrifying. Julie Gormley's back, and she says, "Give Courtney and Dylan a drink." Oh, thank you. You give them Courtney. Is there and Dylan still any newt left? Pour the rest yeah. of the alcohol in this guitar, and then Jill Jill drinks it out. Jill drinks, drinks it out. out. Drink Dylan, Dylan Hall drinks, drinks it out. Drink Jill Hall. Oh my Hall. God! I would pay to see Jake <laughs> Dylan fall. I would pay to see drink Jill and fall. <laughs> my name is Drink Jill and fall, and I endorse this message. Oh, you well, recently saw. I overfilled it, but you asked for it. You got it, Dylan's hole. You got no. That's for you. That's when. for him. You gotta know when. Oh, 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 this is my favorite honey. Oh, the towels off, Sam. No, 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 it's the not. The towels off. The towels in the cord. I've never washed this and go fuck yourself. And the colors will run. Don't tempt me. <laughs> is this over yet? There's like coyotes. I hear pranksters out front. <laughs> I hear a, there's some real shit out there. There's tricksters out there. Yeah, and they're not blasting Did loud you lock music. The door? Fuck no, I don't lock they doors. They might be coming. Shut the door, Dylan. Don't say a word. Shut the door, Dylan. Don't say a word. I was doing her in Maui. I was robbing banks in Italy. That's the wrong oh, song, I did. Though. All right. It was. All right, Courtney, drink your drink at the same time. Dylan chugs his down. It's weird that it's illegal to burn you. <laughs> Tip it back. Why is that weird? That's Am I a heretic? We can't. It's not. We were yeah. gonna, we were gonna end this show by burning Dylan alive, but we can't <laughs> while he's got that on. You can constitutionally. Thank what? you, Scalia. That guy. It's like the only good thing that get, the motherfucker did. I'm a big fat Italian guy, and I'm wrong about everything but flag burning. <laughs> I died. Trick says, it's the goblins. I think you're right. They were giggling like goblins. They were goblins. I haven't seen them for a while. I bet they came around tonight because they knew I was doing this. I want to be forever goblin. You do? Don't you ever want to be a goblin? I know why. Declan, I know Declan I says do. it's Matt Sloan and Craig Johnson, but no, I don't think they'd come. Matt with. Sloan and Craig Johnson? Oh. They would never come within a mile of this show. No, there's like, they got like these pretension filters. <laughs> this, might be, this might be a little too hardcore. We're a little them. too lowbrow for them. They're like, mm, read a book or learn about, uh, listen to CDs they 20 years ago. They don't like... <laughs> They don't like Dylan's nipples. We like movies all the time. Oh, nobody has heard of Kurosawa but us. 
That's true, actually. No Let's watch a Henry Ford movie. The Searchers, maybe. I only have it on 8-track. Fuck yeah, you do. Because you're a baller. Shot caller, brawler. Wanna be a... Baller. Oh, are we just singing this whole song then? <laughs> Shot caller, twenty ins, rims, in the Impala. Holla, getting late tonight, twenty or um, twenty in rim and beard boot. I got my highway. Getting circumcised my way. At the age of thirteen, it's painful, but it goes very well. Yeah. yeah. Late in life, circumcision song. Post of Pubes is a pretty good song. Is that Post Malone? We got them. We got them oil. That's Post Malone's new hit. And it's not a baby. The circumcision song. We're cutting off Dick. full skin. Why does Post Malone smell so bad? Be is this a joke? No. Why does he smell so bad? Because a um, uh, uh, Monster Energy drink sponsored it. A Monster Energy drink. They sponsored his stench? He's he's fine. Are but you just gonna do BSB? What is that a? My mom bought. I mean, technically, she bought seven more songs. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I mean, that's a lot. <laughs> she needs to stop being so supportive. <laughs> well, I think it's Judy getting... Collins. We're we're gonna be wrapping it up here in less than fifteen minutes. So if you'd like to get any sort of entry for the contest to win an item, get that in now. If you wanted us to drink. A, uh, around or anything? Uh, I don't think we'll. Well, do... can we get uh, some rallying support for for a grand finale? A super grand. I got a surprise. We could but... do some BSB for the grand finale. What's since BSB? Judy likes it. And then what I was gonna say was. <laughs> what is this? We'll like we'll do the, the drawing. The ball suck boat Brandon bastards. The ball suck it. bastards. We'll do a drawing before we're done. Nobody wants to see the ball suck bastards, Brandon. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> you don't you don't you? Judy's watching. Yeah, you take that up. He's no. He's been dethroned. He's no longer the bison lord. He's now just vest boy. I'm vestibule boy. Vestibule. Vestibule. I love them vestibule He's boys. A vestibule. I'll drink all of your fish oil. Want to be a vestibule boy? I tell you what I'd want. What I'd really, really want. Don't tell me what you want. What you really, really want? You wanna? I wanna. <laughs> wanna? <laughs> I wanna. I wanna run and really naked, naked, naked right now. Did you just say the N word? No, he said yeah, naked, yeah. the N word. Yeah. He said it. If you want to be Brandon's lover, don't you say get... the N word. It gets Make... really confusing. If you get some chiggers, they're a fucking <laughs> pest. You get in the Mississippi River. Fuck those fucking chiggers. But... Gotta be careful what you say. He says that Dylan needs to have another drink because he spilled most What you know about that? No, I'm talking about chiggers. <laughs> don't you dare say fag. That's... How did you ruin that? You can say fag, it's fine. It's a British cigarette. Well, somebody called me that earlier. Not to us. In my life. You, so that's someone why called it's you? okay for you to say it. Well, what's wrong with that? Well, the show's really degenerated into something obscene. I hope... If you want to be my chiggers, I'm going to take a bath in turmeric. That's how you get rid of them. <laughs> there are an, take look. a bath in turmeric? I did that and it worked. Your skin will be Is that a yellow. spice? Is that a spice? It could I think it's a spice, but it also it's a spice girl song. Super chat. Super chat. Courtney wants us to stop talking about all the nasty things that we're saying. What? We haven't said one nasty thing until You've you brought the F word in. You've been insinuating everything. bad things and being cute. No, I wasn't. I was being cute and You're cheeky. You're both making th my Halloween. There's nothing about white people terrible. watching. You're making my Halloween miserable. Don't say the Make don't Halloween say the F again. word. Make Halloween the best again. Make Halloween good, finally. M. Mubfu. M -H. Bob Tonkovic says Sherry wants to see Brandon's nips. Yeah, we do. For $2. I don't know if he's... You should have seen the donation that got me to take that towel <laughs> off, buddy. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> Brand Don't Brandon's say the R word. Brandon's a lot cheaper than Dylan, I guess. <laughs> don't say yeah. the R word. <laughs> oh! Chicka 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 bum bum bum. If you wanna be my chigger, you gotta get with my pants. 
Get me in a river. Don't ba dance. Wow. This is made of a terrible material. That's not, I mean, that's mean. Is this a costume? That's worth, that's worth. <laughs> what? Yeah. What is that worth? It's worth saying, faggot, what? <gasps> Oh, that's not, it's fine. Because you're going to start a fire? Because I'm, Because he's talking about a bundle about of woods. sticks. No, it's, that old, that old. I'm just not worried. We're, That come on. old nutsack. Me and the gay community are square. It's that's fine. Worse, that's, you, you, you've, you've made your peace with them? I haven't made any peace. I'm a champion, so go fuck yourself, Hal. Where are you in the nakedness and, and promoting positive this is the a, male bodyhood? This is pretty pretty naked for me. I, don't, I usually have more clothes on. Trakes, a super chat. Trakes like, says, I kind of like Dylan's side boob. Fuck yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really like it. I came here to celebrate Halloween, not have a nipple contest. But I guess if we are going to have a nipple contest, which ones do you like better? No, no, not better. Size. The one who keeps Brandon saying... Brandon wins. The one who keeps saying chigger or the one who keeps saying the F word? <laughs> <laughs> Whose nipples are better? Can you turn this off now? Nope, because we have to do a drawing. Oh, let's do the drawing! And you have to vote which... Oh, we got some songs to sing. Oh yeah, we're gonna sing. Yeah, we haven't sung any songs. Why do you keep putting the guitar down? Are we got some songs to sing. We got some songs to sing. We got some songs to sing. We got the whiskey drink. We got the Brandon drink. We got the chickens drink. We got the F word drink. We got all the vape pens in the world. We got all the Courtney's who are great. We got the we got the Hal Halloween show. We got the Hal Christmas show. We got the dead battery and the robot weed. We got. And plenty of weed over there in my backpack. Is this song for Judy then? <laughs> More Judy songs? Oh, there is? I mean, Judy, no, I love you, but we're never doing any songs. Will be good, but I can't, really I can't really take off my shirt or reveal skin. It's against my religion. What's your religion? BSB. R.E.M. Okay. Losing my religion. All right. You want to do that song? It goes uh, D E E F sharp. I could give you an artist representation of my nips. Do you have a pen? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm wearing a towel. Courtney, do you have a pen? I wasn't gonna draw on, on myself. I was gonna no, draw on some paper. Oh, we don't need to see your nips. Oh yeah, I know you don't. They're big and hairy. Hal's nips shouldn't be disclosed. Andrew to Collins. <laughs> we love to make you smile, Drew to Collins. It's a hell show. Brandon's got nice looking bags. He's got that sleeve tattoo, and it's really alarming. And Hal won't show us up his nips, but that's okay because we are just okay with it. Judy Collins, <laughs> we're making good. On your unconditional love. And to now, to win the shuffleboard, we also have this big um, uh, uh, um, poop pillow. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Hemorrhoid pillow. Don't forget about the t-shirt. It has a pig on it. It says Insta Ham. A fucking delicious pun, and that's a pun itself. We're wrapping up the show. Let's give a, a more energetic number to send off the show. Once oh no, no, but, I, but what about what about the? What we got to end with with Matt? We haven't fulfilled Matt's 
thing. The spooky song about Courtney? I thought we did that. I yeah. thought the towel yeah, taken off. Funny. Yeah, we know we did it. Yeah. Oh, we did that? Off. Oh, good. Okay. Never mind then. Did you want to do that drawing and then we'll send it off with a big kicker song? Did you want to be my lover? Did you want to choose a winner? You got to... It might be Matt that. Carlson. Oh, we got more things? <laughs> that... How about some excitement? <laughs> I think we're supplying the excitement. This is a party for all of our friends that are watching online, actually. How about a ween? Do you know any ween songs? Uh -huh. Do you know many ho many yeah, colors in the home ween? rainbow? I like uh, ween. Po Pocahontas? How about Pocahontas? ween, though? Can you do Pushing Up the Daisies? By Pocahontas? Yeah. No, you, do you know any Ween songs? I'm going with any of them. What's this Ween song? I'm uh, Bananas and Blow? Bananas Blow? Bananas and Blow? You don't know Ween, do you? I do sometimes. How about, how about, how about, how about some Wagon Wheel? Come on, every guy who plays at a piano bar knows Wagon Wheel, and it's such a good song. Play some fucking Wagon Wheel. By BSB? Yeah, by Bob sucking Bob Dylan. Well, how about Piss Up a Rope by Ween? He doesn't know that. He knows Country Wagon Wheel. He knows Wagon Wheel. This dude knows Wagon Wheel. It's neither of those songs. How about this? We play a game where me and Hal that was Wagon Wheel by the Backstreet Boys. That was pretty good. Maybe you should tune your guitar. No, no. Play a few songs and see if we can guess them. He's got to tune it a Red Hot bit. Chili Peppers. You got some creep going on. I'm Come available on. for questions if you need anything. Balloon Dude says, Hal, have you ever managed to establish contact with the giant flying spaghetti monster deity? No, that dude, like, takes months to get an appointment with. It's true. He's really backed up. He's very popular. <laughs> Can't get it. You think you just walk into his office? It's a you, fucking flying spaghetti monster. I tried to call, but I was put on hold for what seemed like eons. Yeah, seriously, and the garlic bread is answering the phone. Man, he definitely, that tune. he definitely exists and rules over everything. But he's a hard, he's hard to get a hold of. Oh yeah, it's um Backstreet Boys or NSYNC or it's not. maybe 98 Degrees. Sounds like Candlebox. I'm in a Superman. What is it? No, the song. What was it? It's three, three door, three doors. Three doors open. Three doors closed. Can three, you just play fucking Wagon Wheel? And three let's doors end this to go. Shit? What about this one? We gotta play it right though. I mean, I know what this is, but I, I can't. Is this Tenacious Name that D? tune, everybody. It is. Is it... Fuck her gently? This is, is a it story. A tribute? About, about a demon. And a man with a guitar. Let him give a little speck. And a band witness to jacuzzi, baby. Sam Dean says, lose. I made a Dylan win. I made a dinosaur. That's why. That's pretty good, but like Sam Dean what said, was that really? my friend is afraid. I got very confused. This is my Everlast. friend is afraid of pizza. Oh, yeah. How do I cure them? <laughs> Sam, what you have to do if your friend's afraid of pizza is you have to uh, very gently introduce pizza to them from across the room. Make sure they're sitting in the corner. Make sure it isn't thick crust. That's intimidating. Start with thin crust or even cracker crust. Cracker crust. Be at least, I'd say, about 15 feet away. We know away. all about crackers. Open the box very slowly and always be looking at your friend while you're doing it, like, friendly, yeah. like... Look them right in the fucking eyes while you're eating that pizza. Uh, you're opening it and then... You're like, oh, I'm gonna eat this pizza Once and you, you have it open, it. then yeah, and you put it... You put it in your mouth and you look! And you smile the whole time. Make sure you're always smiling. I love you, Papa John. And just shove it all in. 
eat that whole pizza and then show eat them it up. that it's safe. That's the it's only Superman. way. Superman. You mommy Superman, right? Is that the name of that song? God forbid you ever had a sin about me in the shoes. Yep. Tom Wurtenberg. You fucking slob, you get a job on me. Tom Wurtenberg says Courtney. God forbid you ever had a shoes. Tom Wurtenberg says. I'm fucking down, you Courtney. fucking slob on me in the shoes. Courtney, you could use a shot. I fucked a 14 year old and it was way wrong. Are you going to have more of that disgusting yes, newt? Courtney says thanks, Tom. She could use a shot. She, she can't believe the degenerative behavior that what is life? these men are these men. perpetrating. It's the first time I've been called a man. Yeah. Nah, yeah, let's uh, do it. Some fucking... This isn't fucking wagon wheel! Judy! I feel like we've done this. It's Judy again. I'm sorry we're doing this again. It's Judy. It's Judy Collins. She is our only one. Oh, she is our only one. Mama. She is the very best one. Oh, she having fun we're fucking Judy Judy again we're fucking Judy we're singing Judy Collins uh. my favorite civisaur I suck your old horse I have a rather large wagon. Oh my god! The horse can pull it around and. Forget all that shit, Hassid! It got weird and. He I'm was like, apologies. you got big horses, gonna suck them, forget it! I'm all apologies, Judy. Wagon wheel, Brandon! We asked you for wagon bread and wheel. wheel. Brandon. Wagon wheel, wagon wow, wheel, wow. Brandon. Wagon wheel, wow, wow. Wagon wheel. Mmm, yeah. So we're really glad that this show is an end. No, wagon, why are you being so recalcitrant? Sam Dean says, is there an agreed upon incorrect method of tying another person's shoelaces? The agreed upon incorrect way is to double bu double bunny double over. book them. Never double book your shoelaces to yeah. be on two shoes at once. <laughs> That's Never triple book a double. You did it. You did it. Much agreed Dude, upon. Dude, man, did you? Everyone just see the gem that you got out of all that bullshit. Genesis I seven went, one. I went genocide. I went deep into the cave for that one and found the best gem there. Genesis. Genesis. I got that Genesis. She'll never hear what now? Rape me in the same way again. Oh, yeah, okay. why did we choose that song? Did your mom listened to that song a lot she then? Knows that song. Yeah, because she's cool and legit. We don't need to bring it up and be like, Judy, rape me! Like, come on. This is. I feel uncomfortable. You don't touch care. me. Yeah, I know. I know she doesn't care, and that's why she's cool. But it's. I, yes. I have shame. Rock you, mom, like wagon wheel. <laughs> well, if you want to do what I can't remember the lyrics. This is, your favorite, your this is a good one. I don't remember. Is it lithium? It's in bloom.
I can't remember any of it right now. Goddamn fucking wagon wheel. Oh yeah, that's right. Hell's the one who has all the pretty songs, and I like to sing along. And now I'm singing along. Wait, when will I start singing along? You did it. You were doing it. All the songs, and I like to sing you songs, and I like to do this show, and I don't know what he means. I don't know what he means when he speaks. He's the one who comes over when we're halfway done. Yeah, dude. And he starts to not get along. And he doesn't know how to song. And fucking saves the show. But uh, adds an hour at least to the flow. He's really driving my he's a showman. Take off his towel. Take it right off now. Take off the towel. Take off the towel. All right, can you get Take ready to cut right this off. shit? I can't because I haven't done the prize drawing. Oh, okay. Do the prize drawing. Don't. We were leading up to it. Come on, do the prize drawing. Can we do the prize drawing, please? God, we were. You guys, this is why the women don't like this show. No, I think this All is right? why they do like it. No, we 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 went. We were doing so great, and then we have to stop what? and do a prize giveaway. What did you say? We, what is BSB? Why do you want BSB? Nobody oh, likes Brandon's them. Finale. What is it? Backstreet Boys? Okay, well yeah. he'll do that during the towel removal I want section. It the Can we just fun. do it now? I want it that way. Do it now. We do the it. dishes. Yeah, it's, I want it that way. All right, I have said the words wagon wheel too many times for you not to do it. <laughs> He's not going so to. So get your it has BSB. To be a BSB wagon wheel. The one thing that won't happen tonight is the wagon's wing. Oh, rock me, Brandon, and play my rag wheel. You wheel, we wheel, we wheel, we wheel, we wheel, we wheel, we feel. Now, once I draw, once I draw the winner, the winner has to specify what prize they want for first place. And then, if you get second place tonight, specify two items: your first choice and your second choice, because then, if your first choice is taken, you can get the second choice. Wow. I wonder if there's something I could draw out of. And I of. don't know what you mean. Mm. Oh, I know what to do. I'll put these on, no, I'm these the one. on the miniature couch. We don't even know what's going on here. We're gonna and draw I'll for the be winners. the fucking one. Somebody paid two dollars for my nipples. That means you ha they're each worth a dollar. I Or the left one's worth two. <laughs> All right, nobody paid Dylan's, for that. Dylan's <laughs> two more dollars, folks. <laughs> Dylan, you're we nude, need two more dollars. Your nude body's worth four hundred Canadian dollars. Let's, oh, that wasn't in U.S. You're from Canadian. That better be in Sorry, U.S. Australian dollars. It was four hundred dollar dues. That's like nine million. Four hundred dollar dues. Yes. Okay, you can draw the first place winner, Brandon, because you you were here first. You're just punishing me for being a tornado. A tornado of love. Demonic love. Yeah, good thing it's Halloween. Who is the first place winner? Read it out for everyone to hear. It's Carrie Matthias. Carrie! <laughs> what do you want, Carrie? Do you want the shuffleboard, the funny t shirt, or Brandon's left nibble? The novelty sodas. Or... Oh, get the novelty sodas. We have Osama bin Ladenade. No, it's Leninade. We also have a uh, Muammar Gaddafi berry. <laughs> An A. Wouldn't it have to have a berry in the name? And Pol Pot Cola. So it would be like Muammar Prunafi or something? Ooh, that's pretty good. Pun. Do you want to draw second place tonight? <laughs> Off the miniature couch for obvious it's reasons. It's Sam Dean! Sam Dean gets something for all the money he spent tonight on. No, no, he's getting something else failure. too. Dylan's failure, I delivered, and it's not over yet, Sam. You owe him your entire dick. Sam... My entire dick? Wow. Maybe two fifths? Give us two choices for those who have trespassed against us. 
Oh my god, why are you even deciding things like that? To make you feel guilty? I don't feel guilty. You think I believe in that Catholic God? No way. Yeah, you do. You like it when the Catholics... They like it when they like uh, pay you. millions of dollars to their victims. Dylan loves Catholics in, his, in bed I, with them. Hey, my entire family's Catholic and I do love them. That doesn't mean I like them. Dylan gets into bed with this. Dylan likes to get into bed with Catholics. I mean, depends on the Catholic. We're going to head out to, for tonight. Oh, wow, how's this be like? <laughs> what? Yeah, it's been exhausting. <laughs> We've been doing this. Well, we're going to head out in style with a really great with BSB? All right. BSB song, and Dylan's going to... you got to move it a little I'll over so it. I can see the camera, though. Oh, you want to see the camera? Well, i got to see it a little bit here. So you know what's being revealed? Yeah, well, this is the YouTube whole... YouTube We're earning our dollars. Monetize us now, probably. Okay, all right. Can you play something and we sing something? BSB. Yeah. Ugh. Here we go, everybody. I'd like to thank you all for donating, for playing along tonight, and for joining us for the big Halloween show of the year. We'll be back again sometime for another Hal live show. Until then, you'll have to take screen caps to remember what Dylan's body looks like. <laughs> I'll stop it when the time is right. Maybe I'll put on my... Alright, Brandon, you gotta you do it. Glasses. <laughs> Oh wait, who's this song supposed to be for? It's for I everyone. everyone. I thought everybody. you were gonna. What's the name of that song, Courtney? But that you wanted to hear? Do it. This is You're it. Doing it. Oh good. Can I keep up. This is a towel to be Drop now or we'll Just tap leave. me or something when you want this to end. If you say. Glasses are hell's way, Dylan. All right, just cut it. Go, 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 go! Waldo underwear. You have fucked up! Yeah, I fucked up. <laughs> I fucked you have fucked go. up!